You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet. Hey, welcome. Come it, on in. I'm yeah. All right. Welcome. I'm surprised you're here. I didn't know you come back for part two of all calls. Come on, have a seat. <laughs> have a seat. I appreciate you coming back. Yeah, man. Part, part two of fifty-two. Yeah. It's the year of all calls. <laughs> man, that'd be so fucking sweet. It'd be pretty nice. No one would listen to us anymore. We nope. lose our Patreon. Right. Man, that'd be Absolutely, fucking sweet. But it would be really nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? I would. I would love this show more than I've ever loved it. <laughs> I gotta tell you uh, that I was that I've been really looking forward to recording this because, like, first of all, it's Thursday. Mm-hmm. I don't have to get this published until six days from now. Yep. That's really nice. Yep. Normally, when I record, it's like in the back of my mind. Even if I'm having a good time recording, in the back of my mind, I'm like, "How late am I going to be up?" You know, yep. editing this. Because I'm weird, and it's like, yeah, I have the whole next day to do it. But if I don't do it that night, the whole day while I'm at work, the next day, I'm gonna, go that's get, yeah. Got, yeah, it's gonna yeah. it'll just ruin yeah. the whole day. You know what I mean? So when do you normally edit it? Now? Yeah. Well, this will be our first Thursday now, right? Because last, last, last week we did it was Saturday because you had to yeah. go to your yeah, yeah. to your uh, to your brother's wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I'm probably gonna edit this on the weekend. Okay. And it's like, it's not like it takes... Well, when a, we did it on Saturday, when did you edit? Sunday? Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I wanted to not worry about it while I'm at work. Like, mm-hmm. that's the big thing, is like, I don't want to worry about it while I'm at work. Yeah. Because that's when, like, the anxiety starts to build up, because stuff comes in for work, and it just feels like... And you don't know. You just can't feels like I'm being it. buried in stuff, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, 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 right, exactly. And I can't predict what's coming in for work, and we're so short-handed because everyone... Left We've or only lost got one job. hand. You're the only hand there is. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Your hand, and then like you got a boss hand, R- right? A boss, and you know how boss hands are. Yeah, boss hands. On the <laughs> <end of it. laughs> so yeah, I mean, there are days where it's just like uh, I'm covered up. Like yeah. it's so. But anyway, so yeah, I'll probably. But I'm probably paying you a lot more money. So it's just oh, you. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, so much more money. Oh man, so much yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah, well, the wheels have kind of come off the business, so uh, that <laughs> certainly hasn't happened, and yeah. it's probably not going to happen either. So um, it's kind of one of those where it's like, don't and don't don't spread this around. I might get in trouble. Okay, um, but um, it's kind of one of those where like I don't think that business would be around had it not been for like the government loans and stuff, the COVID stuff. Yeah. So I need to look into when those end <laughs> yep. because it may determine, you know, a lot of things for me. Um, but I'm not think I'm not worried about that too much. I mean, it's kind of one of those where it's like, I mean, I don't want to lose my job because I do like, I like money. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, can't worry about it. Only thing I can really do is like keep an eye out for other things and just in case, you know, yeah, very so, true. So I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. I don't. How do we get there? <laughs> I don't remember. Hands, hands, short-handed, short-handed. hands, hands. Right. Business job work. So anyway, I'm happy we're recording on a Thursday. Yep. that's a long way of saying I'm happy we're recording on a Thursday. Yeah, yeah and I was it's a lot looking better forward than to Monday. This. It's a lot better than Monday. it is it, for you, especially because yeah. you were at work until like yeah, I would have been like nine. It would have been like noon Monday. Be like, hey man, I got to record tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and see. As much as I understand that, I also hate it very yeah. much. Yep. <laughs> I don't blame you. Because I get in the mindset of like, all right, I'm going to set everything up around the recording. And then it's like... Then I got to uh, change it because I don't know when shit's going to happen. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, your shit gets fucked up. And then it just was like, oh, okay. So this is... Man, this is great. Feel good. <laughs> all calls, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Part two of 52. Fuck yes. <laughs> So you, so you want us our, our new format to be all calls? Just let us just know. Let us know. Let us One know. person, let us know. It'll put a, happen. Put up five hundred dollars on Patreon, <laughs> and it'll happen. Yeah, that should be a Patreon goal, actually. 
all calls. We get to fifteen hundred dollars. We <laughs> switch to an all calls format. I'm down for it. <laughs> I don't know necessarily that the community is there for it, but but I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like some of the feedback I got was. Um, honestly, no one was like, and you saw some of this too on Facebook, I'm sure, but, Mm -hmm. um, that no one, everyone's just kind of like, yeah, do what you need to do. Yeah. Essentially. Very awesome. And that's really cool. But we'll ride that out until it's like, you guys better yet? Right. You guys are probably better. Yeah. You guys probably okay. We want to hear about shitty SNES sports (laughs) games already. Come on. (laughs) That's not covered extensively on YouTube by better content creators. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> in a concise some format. Is, some of it is, some of it isn't, to be fair. I mean, but, yeah, that if, is true. If basically, like, yeah, if it's an obscure but game, if Snesh Drunk, Snesh Drunk has, has done a five-minute video yeah. on it, you're good. Yeah. That's all the yeah. information that you need to know, except for that one War of the Gems episode where he doesn't talk about one game mechanic that's super important. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, love is content. Because <laughs> Snesh Drunk or, um, what, Classic Game Room. Other than that, if they don't have it, we got you. We got you. Kind of. You, you have to wade through. Like It'll probably be a 12-year-old video where you can barely understand the person right. playing whatever shitty game that is, but right. we might be better than that sometimes. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> but it is like it is funny because it's like those videos, that like the Snatch Drunk videos and like all that are typically around like five minutes long. Mm-hmm. They're not long. So really what I need to keep in mind is that when we – that when. Okay. Race driving is still his best video, though. Race driving, yeah, that yeah. is a, a, an amazing <laughs> video. I do love that. I'm glad that you shared that one with me because I hadn't seen that one. Um, but that needs to be. I need to keep that in mind whenever we get the criticism, which does happen from time to time. Yep. That um, we don't spend enough time talking about the game, or that um, the listener has to skip through a bunch of our bullshit in the beginning in the middle and end to get mm-hmm. to the game content. Yep. I need to keep in mind that the in my opinion, the best content creator for Super Nintendo games on YouTube does five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for old <laughs> shitty games no one cares about, right. that is about all you need. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How much time do these games really need, honestly? Yeah. No, I mean you're really right. Unless it's entertaining for us to complain about. Yeah. And but if it's it, so bad, then right. it's funny to talk but about. But a lot of times it's not so bad. Yeah. And even if it is, it kind of gets to the point where it's like, we've done so many of these that it is just like... Bell curve is real. Yeah. Bell curve yeah. is fucking real. Yeah. Well, you get numb to it, too. Yeah. Like I do. Like I get... Because it's like, if I go back and listen to, I don't know, let's say the We're Back episode. Like if I were to do that now and be like... Why was I so easy on We're Back? It's a bad game. <laughs> and the answer is, well, I played a lot of shitty games. Mm-hmm. And you get to a point where it's like, I mean, this is bad, but it's not like Street eat, Hockey 95. Eat enough turds and a Brussels sprout is <laughs> from heaven. This is how it is. Right. Yeah, totally. Granted, I love Brussels sprouts. I, no, most people don't. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really like. But maybe I have never had a, bu- a Brussels sprout prepared properly. Oh, man. You, I think a fresh... Brussels, Brussels sprout. It's hard to say Brussels sprout. Fresh, fresh Brussels sprout. Because I said Brussels sprout Brussels, earlier. Brussels, 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 Balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper. You can roast some almonds with them. I've had good success with that. Fucking primo, how primo would, roast. Is that also because I don't know how I don't know how asparagus is typically prepared? Would you do that also with asparagus? I like grilling asparagus. Okay, so when they yeah, say yeah. grilled asparagus, it is literally, literally grilled, grilled asparagus. Yep. What Tossed else do in they? Olive oil. Olive oil. That's what it is. Olive oil, okay. salt, pepper. Uh, maybe you finish with some lemon. Throw on the grill. Yeah, yeah. And I like. I mean, asparagus is. I do like asparagus. Asparagus yeah. is where it's at. Now, Casey does some great asparagus at work. I believe that. Yeah, I can buy that. He wanted to come on. I was telling him about it. He's like, that's fucking... You just, tell just him? calls? Uh, uh, like, that's fucking awesome. He's like, but I, I, I got kids and not a kid. I was like, sometime. Bring sometime. them on. <laughs> yeah, all, all three of them. Come on. Stuck them around. We don't have enough mics. It's fine. They can all <laughs> scream into one. Into one. The kid mic <laughs> the over kid on that mic. side. <laughs> it's like Thanksgiving. You got the big people table, and then you got the kid table. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always, when you're 12, you're like, fuck, I'm at the kid table still? Yep. yep. 
That's why this year when uh now that she's 18, I'll say it's Brainy Jr. Everybody thought I was saying Brady Jr. Brainy Jr. Her name is Anna. There you go. She's 18 now, so Shock. I'll say her name. Her name's Anna. I so. didn't even know that. Because <laughs> <laughs> at Thanksgiving, she sat with us. She's like, I'm not at the kid table anymore. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, good job. Your Thanksgiving has been upgraded to uh, from boring to boring. Your college is free, so good job. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> so... What the fuck is green noise? To anybody uh, listening, okay. they don't know what the context is. But prior to us recording, Tyler, you told me that you like to listen to green noise. Green noise to sleep to. To sleep. So I have like I know uh, what white noise is. Because white noise is more like TV static. That's how you talk to ghosts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's very high pitched. You know, it's high pitched. Yeah, it's high pitched compared to like brown noise or green noise. So. Or, or or what is it, like red noise? There are a whole bunch of different colors. A whole Apparent, big color spectrum. Of I know about colors. I do know about colors. You know I about colors. I don't know about the they noise. Applied a, they apply to sound too. Yeah, didn't I didn't know, know that. that. Why? How do they assign a color to noise? I I, I like, ass, I'm not sure because I would assume that brown is deeper than green, but I didn't but feel why? like it was. Is, I don't know is if it it's based color on the light depth, spectrum because there's pink noise and. Because like red is like low end visible spectrum. Like, mm-hmm. do they do it the same way for this? It noise? might be. I, yeah, I don't. Or it's like the no lower it is, the redder it. it is. That's or? maybe that might be it. But I don't again, know. But I feel like green is green. Green is lower than brown. I feel like. Uh, well, brown's not in the rainbow, so I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's just dark orange. So maybe maybe I, I read I that know. I saw a TikTok about that. Just like look at this, look at the color spectrum. There is no brown. You go to brown and you darken. It. You go to orange and you darken it. You get brown. brown. So that's what it is. Brown doesn't really exist like that. It's dark orange. So all you people who are hating on gingers, brunettes, you're just dark gingers. <laughs> you're just, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. well, that makes me feel better because yeah, I was like, where is brown on the light spectrum? I as a designer, I feel like I should mm-hmm. know that, and I do not know that. There you go. There's my there is my gift of my one thing of did not design knowledge for you. Thank I guess you. orange is dark. Th- it's just thank you. I appreciate light it. brown. It's a good gift. The sanctity of this place. Yeah, it's been true. defiled. So, because uh, I I got used to uh, fans and stuff early on. Fans. Um, I don't like I like hate oscillating silence. fans. Yeah, just the sound of fans to go to sleep to. I absolutely like my dad is the opposite. My dad has to have fucking dead silence to go to sleep. I cannot do it. I hate it. It will keep me up if it is dead silent. Do you... In my office, I'm always playing music or a show or something. Like, so it's not just when you're trying to sleep. It's just Not, not just when I'm trying to sleep, but it is most important when I'm trying sure. to sleep. I could go I, I, I could go either way, but you also know me, and then mm-hmm. I can sleep pretty much anywhere. I do like... Yeah, that's one of your mutant powers. I do love like a fucking hotel room, though, where it's just like, all right, close these fucking drapes that are made out of old maps of the Mediterranean <laughs> Sea, yep. and it's like, pull these shut, and now it's like super dark, and it's super quiet. I do like that mm. quite a bit. And make it cold as possible on that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Which I also saved the TikTok video to show, it showed you for the those wall-mounted air conditioners in, in hotel rooms. Right. It showed you, <laughs> it, it showed the um, manufacturer codes to put in <gasps> to override oh. The cold settings oh. and the length settings. So I know make why sure I save that. that video. <laughs> yeah, dude. I know why they do that because I think it was when was it? I think it was in a hotel room you and I shared. Where the last one I think was in Atlanta. I, I think that's the one where our air conditioner unit created a puddle on the floor. Oh, really? From the condensation from the probably. Yeah, because I mean <laughs> we ran that motherfucker like. <sighs> Full blast yep. all the whole time. Yep. Got in. Hope it's hot. All right, make it as cold as possible. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I can hold, go ahead and hold up. Let's see if my fan app. Right. So you have a fan app. So I. Th- let's see. I don't know if the, that corresponds to it. I know YouTube does. What kind of fan is it? It's called just the Sleep Aid fan. So I've just. I always, for the longest time, I just slept a white noise or a fan until. Uh, Actually, not that long ago, and then YouTube started recommending me because remember my fan app kept fucking up. So it's like I'm just fucking just playing on the computer. I'm sure YouTube has something. Gotcha. And that's when I saw the full spectrum. So then Melissa and I started sampling stuff that we liked. Right. We have a white noise machine for Henry. It's actually plays like storm sounds or ocean sounds, stuff like that. He sleeps fine, but we just want to drown out our loud sex. 
That's why we that's why we put Jack yeah. and everything like that from the get go. With each other. I think that's probably an important distinction to make. Nikki and I sex with each other. <laughs> Henry's sleeping in his bed. So here is heavy white noise. Oh, we're gonna play it. Okay. Okay. So this is Why is it What makes it heavy? I don't know. Okay. Here is pure brown noise. It sounds the same. It does actually yeah. sound pretty similar. Corporate, corporate asked me to tell you the difference between these two sounds. They're the same sounds. Audio memes are back. Here is medium brown. That sounds different. It's like less rumbly. I'm just going to just bring color sounds to sleep to. Okay. See if that gives me a big spectrum. I can run it through the board if you want to. If you find like a good link, it doesn't matter. I mean... That might sound better, wouldn't it? It might, but it's also kind of just me being me. So it's cool. We can do whatever. <laughs> I know how I am sometimes. So here, that top one is what I sleep to every night now. All right, let's pass it over the giant Bruce Wayne table. You got a, you got it's a, a, it's at the bottom. You got a jack on this thing. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's flip this little guy open. Yeah. yeah. You should have just played it through the mic. <laughs> 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 I regret it having said anything at all. And now the phone is, of course, gone to sleep, and there's probably going to be a password that uh, is yeah, required. Probably. You know what? How about we just play it through the mic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can also just I can turn it on so it stays on. Nah, it's okay. It sounds like the ocean. That is what I enjoy. Well, now what is that? Because this will probably actually give a better spectrum. So here is. That's pink noise. Green noise. Yellow noise. Brown noise. Light pink noise. I do like light pink noise. Oh, so you like the lighter stuff. Like, I like it to be heavy, deep. We'll see. There's light blue. I like light blue, too. Dark blue. Darker blue. And then back to purple. Okay, so what's the play? Uh, would you mind playing brown again? Are you taking requests? Absolutely. <laughs> Could you play brown again, please? See, I don't like that because see, that's a, I li- I like the deeper sounds like green or or brown. But I don't like it because like that's what it sounds like in um, uh, phantasmophobia when you go into a haunted house. <laughs> you don't like <laughs> to go to sleep it's scared. Just, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I sure don't. I like to be gripped by panic and lull me to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's I like I like yeah. that we like it's interesting we like completely different noises. Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? I guess you know, you have favorite colors. You probably have different favorite colored sounds too. What's your favorite color? My favorite color uh is blue. No, red. Uh it's blue. I imagine it'd be harder for you as a graphic designer to pinpoint exactly. You probably have a personal favorite, one maybe you like working with better. Well, that color is kind of has color is like one of those things where it's like colors dictated in design. It's like dictated by a bunch of different things because it's like if you've got a logo that's going, you know, you got to work within that color scheme, or you got to find something that's complementary to it. If you don't have a logo, then you kind of go to like the psychology of colors, and it's like, what do you want? Like, what are you trying to? What emotion are you trying to trigger in somebody? Mm. You know, like, or what are you know, are you trying to grab attention? Typically, the answer to that is yes. Uh, so like, you know, a lot of reds and stuff like that. That's why I very rarely, I always put on a blue chef coat at work if I had to go up and talk to an upset patient. Yeah. Instead of like my red. Yeah. Uh, they're bulls as well. So yeah, yeah. gotta be careful. It, did I tell you how I work at a bull <laughs> hospital? Bull hospital. <laughs> we feed bulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you needed a clown that one day. <laughs> get, 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 get in this barrel. <laughs> Casey exclusively Casey, cooks for bulls. Casey, get in this barrel. <laughs> get, put down that asparagus and get in this barrel. Make steak for some bulls. We know it's <laughs> fucked up, but do it. We're bull hospital. <laughs> do they like it? No, not at all. We're just mean. <laughs> it makes them angrier. <laughs> We're not a hospital to make bulls well. <laughs> that's the other bull hospital. You need a veterinarian. Right. That's not what we do. Yeah, we don't, yeah, not... we don't, we don't do that here. <laughs> Um, I like red. Red's probably my favorite color, but it's tough because it's like 
I like to wear blue. Okay. I like blue as well, but it's like, I don't know. Like if I'm going to, like if I had to choose between like a red car and a blue car, I'm going red car. Mm -hmm. But because I don't really want to stand out, the last car I got, gray car. It's car colored. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and also, like the red Celica, we all that all turned pink. Uh-huh. And it's like, uh-huh. if that thing, my new car, I said that thing. I'm sorry. I love that car. I didn't mean to talk down to your car. <laughs> I, you're the best fucking car I've ever owned. That seriously. thing, that thing, that thing. Sorry. Yikes. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to go and edit that out so my car doesn't and hear don't it. Don't apologize. To <laughs> <laughs> right. I love that car. Uh, but like, if it starts to fade, it's going to go from gray to gray. It's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. No one's <laughs> going to look at it and be like, was that car gray at one time? Because like with my Celica, people were always like, was that red at some point? No, I bought it pink. I yeah. bought this pink car. I love a good faded pink, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wonderful. They were like, what color car would you like, sir? Uh, grapefruit? <laughs> <laughs> Can you paint like... Like a strawberry LaCroix, like, you know, <laughs> right? just, just wow. barely there. You fucking nailed the color of that car, because, yeah, that was it. I thought I saw it the other day, which was really weird, because it's like, man, I figured that thing was, like, <laughs> a cube by now. <laughs> yeah. But, man, people, like, it was weird. That Celica, even you saw how fucked up it was. I mean, it was, like, fucked up. Because yeah. uh, I drove it for so long, and... um because it was pink. And <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. If, look, if you want a pink car, it's fine. Yeah. I didn't want a pink car. <laughs> uh, but like even like once a year, at least once a year, someone would be like, hey, let me know if you ever sell that car. For one time, it was the guy, the Wendy's drive through uh-huh, Yeah, there's that note on my, over there. Say so thank, thank you for uh, giving him a ride. <laughs> giving him a ride, yeah. One time it was a guy at the gym and I and he was serious and I was like I can't there's no way I'd sell you this car it's in really bad shape not in bad shape I would feel it, bad for like you driving away and it dying on you or you crashing because it's like it's kind of like like a shitty millennium falcon like the millennium <laughs> falcon where it's like Han Solo is like oh, I know how to drive this thing that's how it is with that Celica but it's also like also not fast or cool at all <laughs> it was just one of those scenarios where it's like and you, if you squint hard enough you can see through the floorboard uh, right? <laughs> You have to do, like, in that car, you had to do special things in order to make it do what you needed it to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. It was fun watching that super tall guy at the dealership get in it and try to drive it away, though. Because <laughs> it did die on him, like, two times. And, this like, is the only car I can afford. <laughs> right? Why are you laughing? Wow. Yeah, and then he put me in a, in a he, sewer. He pulled down your <laughs> pants and made you walk and laughed at you. See how it feels? <laughs> Nice. Nice Simpsons pool. I do mm-hmm. like that. So green noise. Green noise. It's a thing. Yeah. I learned is. something yeah, today. Yeah. There you go. Thank you for inviting me to Kenna's birthday party. You're welcome. Well, thank you for coming. You're welcome. On very short notice. It was fun. <laughs> it was short notice, but it was fun. We didn't have anything planned that Sunday, so it's like... I'm glad you and, and Josh Nicole showed up. Yeah, I was surprised was nice. when I was yeah. I was like, oh. And uh, it was also, man, I almost missed it completely. Uh, so it was, okay, so it put me in one of these situations. I know this wasn't the intent, but it put me in one of these situations because I'm not on Facebook much at all anymore. Mm-hmm. I love that. And honestly, it's like this is this is Chef's Kiss. Yeah. Like the I'm not even on there for Marketplace anymore. I'm not on there for Tadpog Nation. Uh-huh. I'm not on there for Marketplace. I am on there to communicate with you through Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> Which is like I check Messenger like maybe once a day kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so um I uh <laughs> so I I could turn on Discord. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean it's uh, it look no, don't do that because I would miss certain things mm. and it's like I I would have totally missed like Kenna's birthday party altogether because an event was was created mm. for that. So um I uh I saw the event and I was like, "Oh shit." Uh, and the first thing I was like, when was this event posted? Cause I figured it was posted a long time ago and mm. I just missed it. I was like, no, it was posted a few hours ago. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Uh, and then I was like, well, Tyler didn't tell me no, about it. No, they're just last minute assholes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no, it was like, well, Tyler didn't tell me about it. So then I was like, okay, so who created the event? All right. So Melissa created the event. Did Tyler not mention it? Because it's like one of those where it's like, giving me an out 
kind yeah. of deal. Where <laughs> <laughs> so then I got into this thing where it's like, well, I mean, I wouldn't be invited if they didn't want us to show up, right? Uh, and because I know better not to like. All right, well. I need to unload some stuff out of my obligation touch. I'm going to give this one to Dave. <laughs> no, no, I know. And that's that's essentially what I figured. So it was just like, uh, I was like, well, we're going to go. And uh, Henry picked out that, uh, I can't hear, the uh, spirit. The spirit. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which was great because it's like, it turns out Can't she's really spirit. in the spirit. Yeah, she is. So um, that's good. That's a, I think that's, and he'd like, he's, anytime we have to pick a gift for a child, we let him pick. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, because it's because exactly it's like it's it's the perfect fucking crime. Because <laughs> first of all, they're probably going to do a good job mm-hmm. because they're a kid, and who knows better than a kid to get a kid a present. Two, if it doesn't work out, oh, he picked it out. Yeah, God, God, what a what a fuck up. It's on it's on him. <laughs> yeah, it's on yeah, him. Try go. harder next time, I guess. Yeah. But it's not even that. It's like no one's going to be hard on a kid. They'll be like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah. All right. Oh, he did. Oh, part one. That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Job go. done. Just have Henry pick out all presents. All presents. Regardless of circumstance. We let him pick out my mom's present. I mean, like, <laughs> it works out because it's like my mom, my dad, they're not going to care what it is if it comes from him. Chandra and Paul's baby shower. Henry. I did. What looks good? I did. I did pick that out because there was something on their registry that was like, okay, well, clearly it's clearly it's this that I'm going to buy. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't need his help on that one. <laughs> Plus, it was a registry. I know they want that stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? That d- yeah. I don't need helps. to get a six year old. Registry involved. is very nice. Yeah, yeah. Registry's great. Yeah. Everyone should have a registry. I'll make one next year for her, for her eighth birthday. No, 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 no. <laughs> just let just uh, look. I like this. <laughs> no, I love I love this setup. I just mean every adult should need a registry, mm. not just cam girls. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, mean, I gotta tell you, I got a Camp Girls <laughs> wish list on my Amazon, and I do not know how to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta buy the stuff on it, then and, it goes away. And it is somehow lifted. the default gift list. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had to explain it to Nikki before and been like, uh, so I got this. Uh, scroll through here and see if there's anything you like. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a Cam Girls on your Amazon? <laughs> she did a good job. I don't know. Come on, Every, sweetie. Everybody deserves a prize. I'm a pretty transparent <laughs> husband. You know why. You also know that I'm too cheap to ever, ever. buy any of this yeah. shit for a random- The $40 show was the most she's ever got to <laughs> get. Yeah, that was, a di- that was a different person, too. Yeah, no, you spend money once, and it's like, okay, goodbye forever. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because no, not going back. That's like giving. That's like that's like that's like giving like a like it's like giving a beg, beggar money because they're yeah. just gonna want more money. It's like yeah. giving us money. We're just gonna want more. That's true. patreoncom slash Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're different though. Yeah, no, so different. How many times did you laugh? We in the give last you. We minutes? give you titles. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, if Cam Girls gave titles out, that fucking game changer right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta. I mean, the other end of it is, it's like I gotta be honest. I, I, I know that if I applied myself and tried, I could get rid of that wish list. But there's something about just having it. <laughs> <laughs> there's something about just having it and being like, it's, it really is interesting because it is like, oh, this is just someone just adds things to this, and it's just like even though I don't know the person at all, it's uh, it's like voyeuristic. Is that right? Yeah. Is that yeah? Am I using? You're the, watching. It's what you're. You're watching, right? Yeah. yeah, and it's just kind of like it's interesting because oh, something's gone. Something's gone. Somebody bought something. Fuck. God, thank <laughs> God I don't pay that much attention to it. <laughs> but I do occasionally because it's the default list. <laughs> yeah, you got to. I do see like things added, and that's always that's always interesting. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I was gonna say something that's about, that's about, about all that. I want to say about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the way uh, Ken and Henry play together, though. Yeah, it was awesome. Together. Yeah, no, it was awesome. It's very sweet. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I never know how it's going to go because they go long stretches of time between seeing each other. Yeah. Yeah. And like... God, I can't imagine what the last time was before this time. Uh, it was... It was... It or was, Ken's birthday. Ken's... Other last birthday, it was it was Meg's here. wedding. 
Oh, Meg's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the last time I think they saw each other. I forget she has another. She has another whole thing she does. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lied and went along with that, but I didn't. Also, I was like, "What's more damaging?" And it's like probably that they haven't seen each other since Kenna's second birthday party. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember which birthday party that was. Um, but yeah, they played there, but it was also like there were a lot of kids uh, at Meg's wedding. There were a lot of kids Kenna's age that she knew. Mm-hmm. And Henry, and they were just running around. I mean, it was like a pack of of little girls. Mm -hmm. Uh, And Henry just ran with them, and he loved it. And it's like, that's perfect. (laughs) Everyone wins in this situation. But at her birthday party, it was nice because it was essentially, it was a small gathering, Mm -hmm. which also, that was great. Um, So, I don't know, they just spent a lot of time. Dude, I felt, so it was was at Chuck E. Cheese, uh, which I got to say, Chuck E. Cheese Pizza is the bomb.com. I, I'm it's, sorry, no, dude. Don't feel bad. Like, I am sorry. It's it's really, it's not bad pizza. I've, but it's, it's better it's, than it I remember. It goes beyond not bad. <laughs> it's really good pizza. <laughs> you should try their apple pizza. Their apple their dessert apple pizza. pizza. Yeah, it's really, really good. Dude, because it is like, and I talked to Game Bug Prime Nate about this because he loves, like, I'm when I mentioned this, he's like, that's how I feel about Little Caesars. And it was like, I just achieved enlightenment because it's like I bag on Little Caesars all the time. I know that Chuck E. Cheese pizza is bad pizza, but I really like it. I, don't, I think it's better than Little Caesars. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll do it. I'll I'm, do in, it. I'm in my Zen place right now. I'm not going to get into that. I think it's better than Domino's pizza. I agree. And I told, man, we were driving home and I was like, Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. I was listening <laughs> off to Nikki like the places that has worse pizza than, than Chuck E. Cheese. I was like Domino's, Pizza Hut, Little Caesar. Sorry, Nate, but like I mean, it was. I mean, and I don't know. Some of it might be because I have Chuck E. Cheese pizza literally like once every three years. Like that's the average. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so when yeah. I get it, it's like, oh, it's a treat because yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's also like. It's a surprise every time because it's like, oh, man, this is pretty good. <laughs> and because it's been so long, my expectations are just decimated. Well, for your birthday, I'll bring Chuck E. Cheese pizza to you. And everybody will be like, did you get take out Chuck E. Cheese pizza? <laughs> that would be – you know what? That would be a fun experiment. Did an adult man go into a Chuck E. Cheese and pick up Chuck E. Cheese pizza and leave with it? <laughs> Send the kid in. <laughs> <laughs> Here's $20 it, right? Go there and get it <laughs> But like I'm, That'd be an interesting experiment Because it's like Is Chuck E. Cheese pizza Just as good Outside of the restaurant mm. Or is the restaurant Part of it Or is all the ki- Or is Is it better Because it's your Five minute peaceful savior <laughs> In the In the sea of chaos right. It's like Well at least There's this pizza <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which it was weird when we went there because the stage is gone now. The animatronics are gone. Not even, not just gone, like sheetrocked over. So it's <laughs> almost like this never happened. God, yeah, that makes are me want to go back there. I want to, yeah, I want to kick a tear, hole in it. Tear the wall down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there next time, and we'll fake a Jerry Springer style fight <laughs> and push <laughs> each push other it. through the Matt, Matt Foley style, like <laughs> crash through the wall. Or we'll dress up as Chuck E. Cheese and uh, uh, Showbiz, or whatever his name was. Oh, yeah. Get in a fist fight and tear through the sheetrock and then be appalled at what we find. Be like a live action uh, family guy. You didn't even bury them! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it is weird in there now. It is. It's very different. And it's like, what's wild is... No tokens. Go rid of the tokens. Now you have game cards. Yeah, which, man, was confusing for not just Henry, but me, too, because I was like, when tickets weren't coming out, oh, sorry, you said tokens. Also, oh, tickets, both. Yeah, because yeah. it was like, tickets weren't coming out. I was like, I don't know, buddy. I guess they're all broken, which isn't far from the truth, because a lot of them were actually broken, like where it's like, uh, I don't know what operating system this game is running, but it keeps rebooting. Uh, and it's like the screen will just go black, and then com- why are all your games on Windows <laughs> ME? You got- Come on, guys. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's pretty what much. the animatronics ran on, sir. I don't know. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's what the mouse dictates. We just do what we're told. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, man. But those cards were if great. We get a million in sales. We get Vista. 
<laughs> That's our incentive. That's like uh, it was. We get, we get Millennium Edition. <laughs> we got. Um, so when we got there, um, I bought a card and put some money on the card, right? And it's like, because you know, it was kind of just Henry was interested in the games. It's like mm-hmm. here, here you go. Put like twenty bucks in a card or whatever. Um, and it's like fuck it, it's a special occasion. Look, I. I can spend twenty dollars. I can. I look. I got a wish list for a cam girl on my Amazon. I could surely. I guess she could not get that. I <laughs> get the, get that I mean, pair of New Balance. I mean, it was a nice butt plug she picked out, but she can wait for some other sap to get that because yeah. I'm not getting that. I'm going to spend twenty dollars on my boy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I loaded a card up and gave it to him, and I was like, "All right." And then we played a few games together, which was nice. Um, and then, um, later when he and Kenna were playing together, uh, they were just running around from machine to machine using the card, swiping the card, tapping the card, doing all that. Uh, look, it's my wife. Hey, you got pizza. Is it Chuck E. Cheese pizza? We were just talking about Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Dave, no? cause Melissa, you also love Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Yeah, it's good. Right. You want to be on the mic? You want to talk about Chuck E. Cheese with us? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for bringing the pizza. That's I mean, nice of you. Try. We were just talking about that too. Mm-hmm. Are you positive you don't want to sit down and talk about it? <laughs> okay. All right. I understand. Yeah. Uh, Jack's a little sick. <laughs> so. Awesome. Thank you. Super nice of you. Coke Zero and water and pizza and the Spider Man cup. Thank oh, you. It is a Spider Man cup. <laughs> I guess to correct it. Man, we got we got Spider Man cups at home too. This is great. Angie is the best blowjob in the world. Uh, I don't know if she did that or not. <laughs> oh, she did. She just shows up to come back in the room. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> paper towels. She confirms by throwing paper towels. That's, yep. <laughs> that's how they do it. Um, I mean, in my opinion, it's not a good one unless you use the whole roll. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the cards, because like Henry and Kenna were running around with the cards, and then this was honestly the best, because after that, um, you gave out cards. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, um, here's an extra card. This was the fucking best, man. And that, I'm so glad that you did that, because here's what happened. Kenna and Henry ran up to me, and Henry was, Henry showed the card, and Kenna's like, we don't think there's any more money on this card. And I just reached into my pocket pulled out a new car and said, here you go. <laughs> Daddy provides. Man, that was a good that was a good feeling right there because they were just like, <gasps> I mean, they were both just like, I could have like, I could have just been shitting like fucking tacos. Like that was the reaction. I mean, it was like, oh my God. And then they grabbed the card and ran off like the fucking goblins they are. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but I mean, come no, on, let's fine, be honest. Fine, yeah. no, the no. goblets. <laughs> That's her middle name. That's what, that's what it is. Do you want to take a pizza break? Are you hungry? Well, we can reach over and grab, you want to grab some slices, then take some calls? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I'm there's good. some hot honey. Oh, look at hot that. Hot honey going on it. Look at that. My hot, my hot honey gave us some hot honey. Oh, shit. I owe. That's like from straight from a Fresh Prince episode. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pizza is it? Pepperoni and... Pepperoni, jalapeno, pineapple, jalapeno, and spicy sausage. Oh, spicy sausage. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, we took a pizza break. Our energy is now, now way lower. Now we feel better. Now that we're sated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I'm, kinda... I'm ready to I'm ready to rub one out and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so you just talk. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Just play some calls, we'll take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to do? You ready to do some calls? Okay, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's see. I might be able to manage that. Maybe. All right, here we go. First caller. Google, I understand. You protect my privacy. You don't. That's a lie, but dismiss. Okay. First caller. What's up, Tad Pog? It's your beloved Adam. I don't feel like I've called in a while. And maybe Not since that's last because week. I've gotten <laughs> a little bit more active with the uh, streams at Tad Pog Church. And so... Uh, Maybe being on Twitch has allowed me to relieve some of my built-up Tadpog angst and just let me blow my load there. Beloved Adam, you're on Twitch? You're on Twitch? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. 
I thought it was another beloved Adam in chat asking mm. me for my to name three positive <laughs> things about a game I'm playing. <laughs> um, but uh, I did definitely want to call and uh, talk with you guys still. Thank you. Um, and uh, see how you guys are doing. I, I'm in Pretty the good. The truth, man. I'm I joined Discord maybe a week and a half ago, and I've I've been lurking hard. Uh, because I've never used Discord before, and I know that it's fairly simple. It's just different chat rooms that you can jump in and talk and jump out of and all that stuff. Nailed it. But, man, it's slightly overwhelming for somebody who's not into that kind of thing. And uh, and and I know, like, the, the main pages that I would be interested in communicating in would be, like, the, the, the podcast one, the general talk, obviously the honk emote uh page right and then like the deals page where people are buying selling trading and letting people know about it sounds deals. like you got a pretty those good understanding like <laughs> the ones that I'd mostly get into. I, I would say that i'd love to get into the snes like uh game bud i just don't know if i'll have the time to like play but maybe that could be something but one of my fears is like getting into discord like i would want to be in it all the time like i'd want to check it every every minute of every hour of every day and talk to people all day and like man my schedule cannot handle that, and I don't have enough restraint. So I know that's a me problem mm. and not a you problem, but no, it's also a me problem. To this, this voicemail, I've, I've joined in to at least a couple conversations here and there on Discord, and uh, and uh, made my way into there. But uh, it, it looks like a super welcoming place. No one will be upset if I if I Discord too much. Uh, Phil Hawkins already told Sandwich Pope Fault. Phil Hawkins already told me that he's not a fan of of calling in the burst like I did, but, uh, you know, he said that I'm still a good guy. So, hey, like, I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm, what? I'm, yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> Calling in the birth? Is that what he said? Did I? I don't know what he said. Calling should, in but the birth of his daughter? Is that it? Is that what he said? Should I? Why would Phil not like that? Here, I'm going to scrub back a little bit okay. so we can f- unravel this mystery. You guys get to this this voicemail. I've, I've joined in to at least a couple conversations here and there on Discord and, uh, and uh, made my way into there, but uh, it, it looks like a super welcoming place. No one will be upset if I if I Discord too much. Uh, Phil Hawkins already told Sandwich Pope fault. Phil Hawkins already told me that he's not a fan of of calling in the birth like I did. But uh, you know, he's calling in the birth. Calling That's what he birth. said, right? Yeah. I missed the conversation on Discord. I, I didn't. Know. I don't think I saw. Well, let's that. call Phil. Ask him what the fuck his problem is. <laughs> Why do you like talking about birth? I don't know that I have <laughs> Phil's number. That's weird to me. I feel like I should have I feel that. Like I should have Phil's number. Like, I mean, we can prank call his work again. Like, right. Like, he's right. so good that one time. <laughs> said that I'm still a good guy. So, hey, like I'm, I'm all right with that. I, I respect Phil for saying, hey, I think what you do is really stupid, <laughs> but I like you. And you know what? I can get around that. I, I can get around that. <laughs> Phil has moved his way up into... Uh, easily top ten Tadpog personalities for my my heart, um, and so uh, the best way to do it apparently is to be mean to you. Oh, you'll love Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, if you're listening to this, man, I, I really like you, and uh, I'd love to share a sandwich with you, like Lady in the Tramp style, where you eat one end and I eat the other. <laughs> Where our, where where we meet in the middle and our our lips are touching one another, not a kiss. Don't get me don't get me wrong. Right, I ain't gay or nothing. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy a good sandwich <laughs> and the comfort of a man's arms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I want to eat a sandwich with you. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in for for that. All right, I'll call back later. Cause my time's up. He timed that because yeah. I mean that was two he, minutes. He, he was counting yeah, down. That was two minutes fifty nine seconds. <laughs> do you know? Do you, I don't know if you know this or not. Do you know how beloved Adam keeps time through his pulse? Oh, he just yeah. Wow. He like knows how many beats per minute his heart produces, and he he counts it as he records. He knows how many are in a day, right? So then yeah. he's like what beat him on? Oh, six thousand two hundred five. All right, Psh, time to go from work. Have you seen Doctor Stone by any chance? Uh. Uh-uh. There's a character in the in that anime who's like a genius, and that is essentially how like they all get. This is first episode spoilers. They all get like through some catastrophic uh, global event. They all get like encased in stone for 
thousands of years, and this one character is able to keep track of the amount of time. He knows that they've been in there for a thousand years, essentially because he's a genius, and he's been he's been counting his heartbeat for like that long. So anyway, that's Adam. That's, cool. that's what I'm trying okay. to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I've always said that. <laughs> I, we finished. Uh, Nikki and I finished the Promised Neverland, the first season, by the yeah. way. Really good. Great. Really great. It was. Okay. We started the second season, which I've heard not good things about. Mm. Um, but I don't know. Off to a good start so far. Well, after we're done recording, I'm going to go download the the Friends reunion show. Melissa and I are going to watch that. She wants to watch. Nikki wants to watch that. And uh, I got to be honest with you. I felt like a complete piece of shit because she <laughs> told me that like after we were watching. We've been watching anime like one like one episode a day for like. I don't know, I guess a couple months now. And she mentioned that, and I was like, well, I don't know if I want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Melissa is like, what is it? I mentioned wanting to watch some kind of anime or want to show her something, and she kind of frowns. And I was like, I watched like 14 <laughs> seasons of ER and like <laughs> eight of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, look, and it's like, I don't even dislike the show. It's just... I know that I'm not going to get out. I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to get much out of it. Oh, yeah. It's a fan special. Right. Fans, she is. It's, she it's will. friends fan Nikki service. will. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, and I'm not... And that's not even to say that it's going to be bad. It's just... Yeah. It's right. I'm not... I don't think I'm going to be able to cash in on that on that fan service. Yeah. Why don't they just have a, a season of Curb Your Enthusiasm where the cast of Friends comes on? It's true. Do it that Larry's way. trying to put together yeah. a friends reunion. That, yeah. That'd there be, we go. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. <laughs> You're done. You get the, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I also do want to say, like, uh, Melissa listened to our last all calls, and she was like, do you just hate the vacations we go on? I Why? Like, no, 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 no. Did it come across that way? I, it might have. So Not I, to I, me, I, I want to apologize to my wife. I had a great time in Gatlinburg. I was just talking about the the lines and stuff up my wife, we always go on the best trips and the best vacations, and I had an amazing time in Dollywood. Man, I don't I want didn't, to make it seem like I don't. You did a really good job of making that not sound rehearsed at all. And not rehearsed that was, at all. That was good, man. <laughs> that was fucking, that was good. <laughs> you didn't come across to me as like, because I maybe it's because I know how much you really enjoy those yeah. trips. Did yeah, I do yeah. good? Did I do a good job? You did a good job. Great, Good great. job. Did you buy it? <laughs> <laughs> and she still brought us pizza. I know, man. No, that was good pizza, too. Bambitos. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. So it's attached to a gas station by my house. <laughs> Is it as good as Chuck E. Cheese? Ah, jury's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Beloved Adam, thanks for calling. Um, man, it's always a delight to see you on Discord and, mm. and also on Adam. I want to meet Adam. Twitch chat. Um. Oh man, it just started to rain like real yeah, hard. Did. Wow. Damn. First, I thought the cicadas had all burst out of the ground and thrown <laughs> themselves at the obligation hutch yep. at the same time. <laughs> um, but I totally get like the whole Discord thing because, like, that's I kind of get that way. Like, I have to, like, there are times where I have to take a step away from it and just be like, okay, holy shit, I've been like jacked in for too long. I got to take like a day or two off mm. <laughs> to just kind of like <laughs> all right all right next call this is from 801 they you know how to get a dog to keep from humping <laughs> your legs dear boy that fucking dick <laughs> what <laughs> i do you know who i this think is? i don't know i have no idea who that was what area i gotta how, look up this how do code. you keep a dog from, from humping? humping your leg you suck his dick Oh. I think I think that's the life pro tip right there. Uh, does that work? <laughs> yeah, 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 real well, so well. Damn, that is some hard. <laughs> no, that's rain. That probably might maybe the microphone's picking up. Yeah, it might. Cause I thought like to make my door pop open. I think it's just on the garage door. It sounds like brown noise. It does sound Damn. like brown noise. I'm gonna play this call again. Okay. To see if you're correct. I bet you are. I'd heard the dog humping part. Do you know how to get a dog to keep from humping your legs, dear boy? Yeah, suck a dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Also, I want to scrub to like the very end of that call to confirm that that is a child I hear in the background. 
Eh, the jury's out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I don't know who that is, but if they own a dog, probably a pretty happy dog. Happy dog. Yep. Unless he's got a thing for humping legs, in which case, yeah, unfortunate, <laughs> poor, poor blowjob, blowjobbed dog. Stop ruining that dog's <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> you monster! That's, that's what I'm into: ruin dog orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, that's a very. Get any do, doi videos? Ruin dois? Yeah. For dogs? For dogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a save. It's just in black and white. <laughs> I am holy shit. I do feel like we need to take a break and do a quick search on Pornhub for dog POV <laughs> and see just what pulls up. Oh shit! Film a yeah. That would be good. Film a put a GoPro on a dog and then uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> let it film you. <laughs> All right. Every now and then you see people having sex, but mostly you just see like corners of the room. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep calling it over to you while you're while you're fucking, dude. Like, there are times where it's like, I got to kick Clementine out of the room because, like, she is like, what is what is going on? Mm-hmm. I want to know what's going on. This looks amazing. This, yeah. <laughs> Why did you steal this gift from me, Father? You guys playing? Man. <laughs> well, like, uh, Bella. Bella's favorite fucking thing in the whole world is coconut oil. Ah, uh, yeah. So... There are times whenever, like, I guess she smells bliss and I break out the coconut oil. And she goes, fucking nuts. Uh, <laughs> Can't take her to a sandals resort. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Can't no. keep that dog from licking dildos. Might not be the coconut <laughs> oil. <laughs> Might not be. Just throwing that out there. Clementine's very interested in the, the phantasmagoria of scents and <laughs> yeah, all that afterwards. God, I love Daddy Salt. She likes it. She likes a lot of shit, man. Where it's like, holy God, man, you're creeping us out. Stop. <laughs> We're not at that level yet. Yeah, no, we, stop. Quit it. Yeah. <laughs> that implies that at some point. We'll call you when we're ready, but we're not. <laughs> Clementine, I'm sorry, but that's five dogs from now. <laughs> <laughs> you won't make it, but yeah. we'll remember you. Yeah, we'll definitely remember you. <laughs> we'll tell the dog we do choose about you. <laughs> All right, next call. This is from 904. Fucking Tad Pog. It's Dalton. Chicago man, Dalton, man. Figured I'd call in and say what's up for the first time. You know, I'm sitting here, uh, I'm not going to lie, blazed, <laughs> as usual, uh, playing E7 and really enjoying the soundtrack, which led me to want to ask you if you had a particular game that you always go back to the soundtrack and listen to after you've beaten it. Like Green Noise, the video game. <laughs> <laughs> I can only fall asleep to uh, the ghost sounds of (laughs) (laughs) phantasmophobia. Personally, for me, Persona 5. Absolutely love it. That is such a good soundtrack. I think, you know, Tyler's played it. uh, Whatever. I'm I'm rambling. Anyways, um, I also noticed that lately uh, I've been posting a lot in the Facebook group, and I'm starting to feel like the uh, beloved Adam of the group. I'm hoping I'm not posting too much, and people are going to start complaining. No one has called but... yet, like they did with Adam. So you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I feel like a, a challenge has been issued. People would leave voicemails to complain about Adam. Right. So <laughs> you are not there yet. You got a lot of work to do. Is I think what we're trying <laughs> to say. Post more. Yep. Other than that, man. I hope you guys are fucking having a rocking day whenever you get to this, like a fucking year from now. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you guys take it easy. <laughs> so, um, thank you for the call. I don't know that I've told Dalton this before, but Dalton hangs out on Discord. I play Final Fantasy fourteen with Dalton. Um, Dalton is a cool dude. Dalton sounds so much like my brother-in-law that he was streaming on Twitch one night, and I pulled it up on my phone, and I'd, I never told Nikki this, that, that I think he sounds like my brother-in-law. And I was just like, hey, did you know that your brother started streaming on Twitch? And like, I was just playing the audio, like looking at the phone. And she was like, oh, my God, he did? He didn't tell me that. And then I like turned the phone around. And yeah. she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dalton's my brother? <laughs> All along. <laughs> 
It's been me, Nikki. <laughs> to be fair, Nikki does beat siblings that she didn't know about in the strangest places. So. That, is, that is that is true. Yeah, that that is true. <laughs> that is true. They might actually be related. I mean, I, re- I remember, <laughs> man, her checking out one day at a store and like noticing the guy's the checkout guy's last name. Oh, hey, is your dad? Blah blah blah. Yeah, so is mine. Bye. <laughs> I guess we're siblings. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a bunch of us. Yeah, I'm finding that out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh oh, do you have a soundtrack that you that you like to go back to? Or Earth, Earthbound. Earthbound. Final Fantasy Six. Final Fantasy Tactics. A lot of, if I if there's not a podcast or a show I'm listening I wanna listen to, I will pull up Lo Fi Earthbound, Lo Fi. Tactics, Lo-Fi, Final Fantasy VI, Lo-Fi, Chrono Trigger, and listen to those. Those are all great. Yep. Uh, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI. They're like, they're way up there for me. Donkey Kong Country, honestly beats all. Oh, yeah, I, I can, I can get that. I can understand Especially that. Especially the Lo-Fi stuff. Like, the Lo-Fi mixes, mm-hmm. it's just like, it's fucking chef's kiss. Like, I mean, that is like... Like one of the songs, um, like there's some lo fi remixes that I'll fucking like meditate to. Cause I mean, it is like the music in that game is so good. And like, it really is. Like, I mean, it's weird for me to be like, I think that some of that music is better than like Final Fantasy music, but I do really think that. Maybe not Final Fantasy VI, but like Final Fantasy XII, sure. Yeah. Can I sing a song? All, all from... the non Nobu Uematsu Final right, Fantasy. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Can I hum a song for Final Fantasy XII? Nope. That's as far as I can go. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just long orchestral notes. I don't know. And I don't even know what the last one he worked on. He might have worked on 12 for all I fucking know. I know. He came back and worked on the 7, the 7 remake. Yeah. And the music, and that's good. But I mean, it's, I mean, you know. I also, uh, Guitar Man Dalton is also the new, for me on Facebook, he is the king of vague book posts. Oh? Because on my feed, I get like, funny posts from Dalton, funny posts from Dalton, just the word, oof. That's it? That's it. People comment, what's going on? No, no word answer. from Dalton. Yeah. Scroll through. I don't know. What did you not know? Nothing. Funny posts, funny posts, funny posts. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck who? No reply. Funny <laughs> post, funny <laughs> post. Uh, it was Jacob, but I think Dalton now beats Jacob <laughs> with a vague book post. I don't know, because I'm not, again, I'm not really like active on Facebook. Is Jacob active on Facebook? Mm, on Instagram, but not on Facebook. Not really on anymore. Instagram. Because okay. I kind of Twitter, figured... Twitter and Instagram. That's how I talk to Jacob, through Twitter DMs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's how we communicate. I don't, I honestly use Twitter so I use Facebook Messenger to talk to you. I use Twitter to talk to Jacob. And like that's like <laughs> other than like posting, hey, we did an episode or I'm going live on Twitch. More often than not, it's like it's those two things and then talking to Jacob. Because it's like <laughs> Twitter is not great. Yeah, I don't like it. It's yeah. like it's it's honestly at some po- sometimes I think it's worse than Facebook because I'm just scrolling and it's just like why is everybody so mad about bullshit that doesn't matter? On Facebook, people are mad about shit, but it's like... <laughs> they're I, mad about lies and propaganda. <laughs> right. Twitter, they're just mad about they're bullshit. Just, they're just mad. <laughs> 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 anyway. Uh, next call. This is from 757, which I believe is Beloved Adam, unless I've already played this, in which case I'm sorry. What's up, Tadpog? Beloved Adam. Beloved Adam. Hey, I am hey. driving around for work right now. Be careful. Listening to Tad Pog. I am thankful uh, that I have at least one of my jobs I'm able to do still with this crazy quarantine from the coronavirus. Coronavirus? Corona. What? Or COVID-19, if you have uh, uh, oh, okay, uh, I got you. I hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully you're staying healthy. Your families are good, and uh, you guys aren't taking any financial repercussions from this craziness. And hopefully by the time this voicemail gets played, it is long gone and just a memory of uh, our nation's past and our our world history. Uh, But in the event that it's not, and we are all still quarantined to our home because it took over and uh, people are dying left and right, 
I want to leave a message for Dave. Uh, Hi. Listening to you guys talk about the uh, competition cart. I made it. Super Nintendo. I'm and, alive. Uh, I uh, wanted to let you personally know that my first word as a child was bird. Bird. So We're bird brothers. I think that <laughs> you and I may be from the same same era, the same family. I don't the know. The same There's nest, something, brother. Something <laughs> connection between you and I. And we ate the same regurgitated worms, <laughs> you and I. Did you, did you both call your penis worms? Yes. <laughs> Is that what you did? I wonder if Adam did. <laughs> oh, probably, right? Probably. I hope so. Adam, get well, back to Beloved that. Adam, let us know what you called your penis when you were a child. <laughs> and we'll forget we'll ask the question when you answer, and we'll be really weird now. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and because of that, I'm going to make a promise to you, Tyler, uh, that my last word on this earth will be Tyler. How will I do that? Do you- Was Tyler your first word, Tyler? <laughs> No, I'm not a Pokemon, Adam, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler! Tyler! That would be pretty funny, though. Ty, 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 Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Do you know how hard it would be to try to, like, to decide your last word and then actually do it? Yep. But we've got recording, so... There we go. That's binding. We'll keep it. That's yeah. legally binding. It's permanent. If you don't do it, beloved Adam, we're coming after your inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Obviously, if I think I'm about to die, I'm just going to start to say your name. Um, but <laughs> since no man knows the day the Lord calls him home, there, there I'm just going to randomly throughout my day <laughs> just say Tyler, just in case. It's the last thing I ever say. Anytime you feel like you're in mortal peril, like you're about to crash. <laughs> oh, Tyler! <laughs> if you decide to try to run a red light or beat that yellow, just Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. <laughs> Whenever you're eating grapes between everyone, just Tyler, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> so that is a promise I'm making to you. So uh, I've got some things that I want to talk about uh, in regards to... Uh, some Nintendo stuff, so I'll call back because this message is almost over. You know from uh, your pulse. So I love I get you guys. It. I'll call you back <laughs> in just a minute. Love you. Okay. We love you too, Adam. Tyler! <laughs> He's driving. Yeah, that's true. Man, my bird brother. My bird brother, <laughs> beloved Adam. Yep. Um, what so, is it you call Sean and Mitch? Uh, that is, man, that's been a long time. Yeah. Slap brother, uh, slap brother, and pick brother. Yep. Yeah. Slap brother, pick brother, bird brother, bird brother. Um. So this reminds me of. So Henry's first word was moon, and I remember uh, cockmaster Ashley Shake asking me at one point at one of our annual lunches at uh, Wingstop mm. what Henry's first word was, and I said moon, and he was like, "Don't you think that's a little weird?" Like, what do you mean? It's not like mom or dad, moon? I was like, he was looking at the moon. <laughs> yeah. We we once the moon once the once the sun sets, the moon comes up, we we always placed his bassinet outside <laughs> so that he might glean a lot of the moon goddess. Well that's like when I was so We're like, honored that he were to choose such a word. That's a blessing to us. Look to La Luna, remember? <laughs> From Mortal Kombat. <laughs> remember your scriptures. <laughs> Uh, table flip <laughs> but like and like that's what i was like well my first word was bird and i feel like that blue is mine too <laughs> <laughs> dave do you know the last time i even said that word <laughs> it's probably been 20 years since i've said okay i'm gonna try it i gotta do it if i can Bird. <laughs> Bur- <laughs> it sounds like colossus bird <laughs> Dave, that's the only way I can say it. I can't imagine that being my first word. I love you, but that's really weird, man. Bird. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, next call. This uh, is Beloved Adam. What's up, big boys? Hey. Beloved Adam. Also, what's up, Tab Talk? It's your Beloved Adam. So now that I know... Did you notice the slight difference in tone? Yeah. It did. I want to play that back. It's different because, like, he addresses us differently than Tadpog Nation. What's up, big boys? It's your beloved Adam. 
Also, what's up, Tab Talk? It's your beloved Adam. Yeah, there's more. There's more love for us. Yeah, it's more formal. Right, He's addressing the crowd. Right. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. He'd be. It's more like, what's what's up, top big boy Sama, and then <laughs> what's up, Tadpog Nation son. You know, that's 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 what he was doing. What's up, my Tadpog dogs? <laughs> <laughs> So now that I know you have a call screener, I know that you'll be taking more calls. So I need to pick back my <laughs> call game up. I hadn't called in a while just because it seems like you guys were that was the that was the calls. most kung fu laugh <laughs> from NES Kung <laughs> Fu, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. X. Yeah. <laughs> or just have, have the time because the episodes are going longer, which I love. Longer episodes, I love. Um, but I figured I might as well call and uh, be surprised in a couple months when I hear a question and think, oh, man, I don't remember asking that. So you guys are talking about... Then you're going to love this episode, Adam. You're going to fucking love it. Beans right now. Uh, first off, uh, Tyler was talking about not being able to buy a pair of jeans at American Eagle because they made his dick look weird. Uh, yeah. uh, it's funny because <laughs> I bought a pair of American Eagle jeans from a thrift store for $3 uh, back in 2008. I am wearing them right now. So How's your dick look? Yes. <laughs> Took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> How's your worm? <laughs> Perfect. How's your worm, bird brother? <laughs> <laughs> I need to remember that. That should be on a shirt. Yeah, that's, well, that's how I need to address beloved Adam when he shows up in chat from now on. How's your worm, bird brother? I'll forget. I'll forget. I don't know if these things are bulletproof or what, but they're almost the best jeans I've ever bought uh, for the money. Almost. I'm going to message Adam right now. Almost. Just, just, that, just that message so he'll ask about it so you won't forget. Uh, oh, thank you. Bird brother? How's your worm, bird How's brother? How's your worm, bird brother? Uh, absolutely. I love that Dave talked about you going to American Eagle, but the way he said it is, I can see you at the American Eagle talking about if the jeans make your dick look weird. And the way that Dave, uh, like anyone else's father, would refer to American Eagle as the American Eagle, I just laughed because (laughs) I pictured Tyler and his wife standing in front of a giant, broad-chested American Eagle (laughs) who's deciding whether he can wear those jeans or not. Uh, what did you purchase from the food giant? <laughs> <laughs> did I send you that video of the Kroger? Or did yeah. I send it to Jacob? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's a, that was a great TikTok. <laughs> what do you want from the Kroger? <laughs> uh, if it wasn't apparent, beloved Adam, I've never shopped at the American Eagle. I never feel like I belong in the American Eagle. I, I feel like I belong in the American Eagle more than I belong in, like, is Abercrombie and Fitch still a thing? Is that still a store? I don't know. Yeah, I remember seeing someone recently on TikTok about it because, like, TikTok is extremely entertaining. TikTok's like, pretty, Melissa and I pretty really great. Do a lot of TikTok. It's pretty great. Dennis turned um, me on the TikTok I'm, about girls that used to work for Abercrombie talking about what they were made to wear while they worked, and like, what were they made to wear? Of uh, crop top, super small shorts, like they and they keep the store at like sixty and. Like no matter how uncomfortable they were, they had to wear. It sounds this, pretty this comfortable. I mean, sixty short shorts. Fuck you know, yeah. for, for us, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, yeah. for a grown ass man, for, sure. For, yeah, or for me who has like a good like layer of warming blubber <laughs> and hair. <laughs> um, but uh, the question I wanted to ask you is: Hey, what's the best gene for the money, in your opinion? Uh, my opinion is I, on a whim, bought a pair of jeans from Walmart. Now, hear me out. These are Levi's, uh, and they are at, like, they have a denim, stretchy denim material, and uh, they were 20 bucks, and that's the standard price. And I'm sure that Levi's makes some cheap ones for Walmart, but yeah, they do. they've been so comfortable. And for 20 bucks, like, it's a can't miss. So that or American Eagle jeans at the Goodwill for 3 bucks is also a good one. But I'd love to hear you you denim daddies talk about some jeans. <laughs> I'm just going to rub my jeans while you talk. So, <sighs> all right. I feel good about this. Good. And I love you guys. 
And hey, call Guy? Guy? Thank you for... Guy? He did say Guy. Which one? Don't answer that. Well, he's probably talking about my guy. <laughs> and, I, and I also love my no, guy. No, I get, I get that. I do. I understand that deeply. And his father might die. <laughs> because he does. He does die. Doing what you do, even if this call doesn't get played. You've got a hard job. You man. did it. I appreciate that so much. All right. Have All a right. great day, boys. Stop Love sucking you. up. Bye. <laughs> stop, stop sucking up to our very expensive call screener. <laughs> Tyler, jeans, you don't like them? No, I, Melissa loves them, so I wear them. Um, I keep one pair of jeans, and also they're just good, and I don't know what else to wear. I can just throw in a pair of jeans if uh, if the event calls for it. Um, I get, uh, There's just one brand. I like it, Kohl's, that Melissa likes, and I like a darker jean than a lighter jean. Do you jean. know what brand it is? Because they've got Levi's at Kohl's. Sonoma, I maybe? Levi's. I don't think it's Levi's. What What did you say? Sonoma, Sonoma, maybe. I mean, I've got to have jeans that have some flex to them. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like the stiff, raw, like real legit denim. I don't like shopping for clothes, so I don't buy them. <laughs> I pretty much just buy dress clothes now. So. I pretty much just wear what I bought in 2008 and hope that it <laughs> lasts forever. <laughs> I think I'll, some of the several outfits that I have now are a co- my, my coworker Elizabeth. When her husband doesn't want them anymore, Elizabeth she's like, shoe, right? "Hey, yeah, Elizabeth shoe." She's like, "Hey, do you want these clothes my husband doesn't want?" Yeah, sure. Keeps yep. me having to buy shit. Sure, of course. All I right, do. of course I do. So pretty much one of my going out outfits when I don't feel like uh, not dressing up will be jeans and a, a polo that. Was her husband's man? I hate polo shirts so fucking much. They're fine on other people, but like I, every time I wear a polo shirt, I feel like I'm eight years old and I'm gonna get my photo taken for Easter. Like I hate, no, I, I get hate, that. I hate wearing polo. I don't, shirts. I, I don't love it. them either. Um, because only these two are really the only ones that I've ever really owned and worn. Because if I don't want to wear a dress shirt, I, Melissa loves me wearing t-shirts. I, I don't feel comfortable in t-shirts. What is it about t-shirts? You think? Uh, I just don't like the way my neck and stuff looks in a t-shirt. Like once, oh, I, lo- so once, I, not... once I lose weight, I will be more comfortable in a t-shirt. So but it's right a now, looks thing. It's not a comfort thing, right? Okay, I got that. Or like even this shirt that I have on now is a long sleeve. I like long sleeve shirts pushed that's like up. A, that's like a three quarters little boy there. Yeah, isn't I mean, it? Oh, it's long. I just push it. Oh, up. I see. I got you. And I, that's I like all my shirts like. I that. thought it was like Mary Tyler Moore's pants, but in shirt. Form. And then I always have a hood on with draw straps because I don't like a plain neck because I feel like my neck looks super fat. So I just don't. But I. But have, I can still see your neck. Yeah, you know but, what I mean? It's, it's not. You're not wearing a turtle. It's different. It's not at all. It's not at all. It's different. It's not at all. I see Quit it, Jay. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> I mean, I see it. It's just. I have this exact shirt in like five <laughs> colors, and I just alternate it when I get home. I'm trying to free you. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can wear t-shirts. It's, it's fine. Be comfortable. Uh-huh. But I see, I'm not comfortable in a t-shirt. Because of the, because, because of the, I just don't feel, I don't like the way I look in a t shirt. Okay. Melissa says, Oh, you look great. I love it. But like, if I don't feel good in it, I can't really. Wear I understand it. that. I understand so that. I'll, I'll get there eventually. I mean, that's how I am with, uh, you know, as much as I just like, I hate wearing polo shirts. That's a lot of it. Yeah. I don't feel like I look good in polo shirts. I'd rather wear a long sleeve shirt that's got the sleeves rolled up. Yeah. That's oh, a, I love a long sleeve rolled up. That's my, love it. That's my level. Um, flannel. Good. I'm all for it. Yeah. I wish it was always cold so I could always wear flannel. Oh, man. I would love just always wear winter clothes. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Yep. We're in the wrong fucking Win- part of the country winter, for that. Yeah, we are. Winter dress clothes, those are the fucking best. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A big coat. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Fuck yeah. That's why whenever it gets war- starts warming up, I'm like, fuck. Now I got to just be more uncomfortable <laughs> pretty wearing much. less clothes. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. How did we get there? Jeans. Jeans. Uh, yeah, I don't really... Stretchy, dark jeans. I like dark. I like a dark wash. Regular fit, uh, loose fit. That's it. It depends on what my weight is at the moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Honestly. Because it's like, I like a button fly, but like, not right now I don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Too bad I don't have that one pair of silver tab jeans I used to wear all the time. Fucking silver tab. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All remember, right. Remember Brennan's silver tab jacket? I don't. He had a silver tab jacket that he told me his dad got for him that it was a promo item. They don't really sell them. He was very proud of his silver tab jacket, which Brennan also lied to me about meeting <laughs> Matt and uh, Tr- Matt's son and Trey Parker. What? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Brent, I told Brennan like I like you anyway. You don't have to lie to me about cool things. We're friends. <laughs> How do you know he lied about it? His mom uh, <laughs> told me <laughs> she blew up his spot. Oh yeah. What yeah, well, you yeah. brought it up to her? He had a a basketball that had their signature on it. Yeah. And he told me he's with his dad in Nashville, and they went to like Wait. a signing. I want to. Can we time out for just a second? Yeah. I'm sorry. How old were you guys oh, with basketball? Ago. No, I know it was a long time ago, but I'm trying to figure out. It was like around the premiere of basketball. Right. But what I'm trying to figure <laughs> out is like, what grade were you in? Because I feel like basketball was like, that was like almost college, <laughs> right? Mm, no, it was. I remember it was at our church. So it was like, Not it a had grade. to be. It, <laughs> so it was, it was, in high it was school. definitely middle school to early high school. Oh, God. I'm, yeah, I'm really old. Okay. And because uh, he was like, yeah, check this out. I was like, oh, that's awesome. He's like, yeah, dude. Like, I was with Dad in Nashville. And, like, we met him. And, like, I got to, inter- you know, had them sign this. And it was awesome. I did, like, my Mr. Mackey impression. They laughed. They thought it was they thought it was hilarious. Yeah. And I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. Man, damn. And I remember, like, saying something to Brandon was gone. And I said something to his mom about it. And she looked at me like, he got that out of, like, a fast food thing. <laughs> like, he didn't meet anybody. <laughs> You know, what's weird is I hear that story and I think about Brandon and like, you know, that kind of stuff. And I remember this is not who I am now, but for sure when I met Brandon, like I was the kind of person where it's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you do that now. It just depends on who it is. <laughs> that That is that is true. Like if it was John Turley, you'd be like, you fucking didn't. But John wouldn't <laughs> say anything like That's that true. to begin with. That's true. So maybe it's more of that. Maybe it's more that I've just curated <laughs> people who lie out. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, that's true. <laughs> as much as I love Brandon, I do love Brandon. And I don't think he lies as much as he used to. Oh, but no, he used to lie a lot. He used yeah. to lie a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's like more secure feels more secure about you yeah. know himself now and it's true doesn't feel like he needs to impress that's true yeah because remember he just thought i was the biggest nerd ever and then he met you who he thought was you know like oh dude dave is fucking awesome which is he so... likes all that shit that tyler likes <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah which is like very bizarre it was always bizarre to me because it was like I think, honestly, like, Brandon's one of the coolest fucking people that I know. Yeah. Like, ever. And it's like, it's always weird to hear you say that because you bring that up. And it's always weird because it's like, I never thought I was cool. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, never. He thought you were cool to the point that it annoyed the shit out of his girlfriend. Well, yeah, and I do love that story. I think that story is is very funny. But I I think it was just Dave, because, Dave, Dave. <laughs> I think it was just because I was a little bit older than him. A little bit older, and you were already like apex established, cool, you know, IT guy, and I can understand, but can not. It. But it was. I mean, that's perspective. You went to a high school that had more than one race in it. That is true, <laughs> and thank thank God that I did. <laughs> I mean, yep. like I'm very <laughs> thankful for that. Um, it definitely made, I don't know, I feel like, uh, it made me a more enriched person absolutely, and, uh, able to raise my son in a way that he can actually integrate with society. Yep. Yep. No, I'm with you a hundred percent. All right. On that note, next call jeans. (laughs) Think about it. (laughs) This might be the same one. What's up, Tad Paul? Get your beloved Adam. Man, I hope my daddies are doing okay. Pretty good. Man, I'm uh, so sorry it's taken me so long to give you guys a call. I I got to talk to you on the phone. Like yeah. You guys called me. We did. Oh, man, I was sitting at my kitchen island working on something, and I saw my phone ring, and it said Tad Talk, and I knew this is the best day of my life. I was so poised. I was ready. I can't wait to hear that phone call because I feel like I was in – my my prime moment. It, it was, was like good. I was built for that moment. Yeah, right there. So I was just I telling just... Casey about this today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were telling Casey about when yeah, we I called, called Adam. Him? Man, that was such a good moment. I mean, it really was. And like Adam, no offense, but it was so good that I never want to call you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I brought it up, and you'd be like, "No, oh, spoil it." Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's that's like quintess- yeah, you got a good point. <laughs> it's quintessential me. Like I'm also the guy who's like, I don't want them to make another Beetlejuice. <laughs> I loved Beetlejuice. Yeah. Don't fuck with it. That's how good your call that call was, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to say to you guys, thank you so much for making 
a dream come true. You actually made two dreams come true that night because one dream come true was that Tadpog would call me. That's how I know I made it in this world is that Tadpog called me. But also... You poor, poor man. <laughs> I love it, but you poor man. I'm so sorry that things turned out this way for you. <laughs> you deserve so much better. Every single time that I call Tadpog, I assume, man, somebody's going to pick up one of these days. And in the middle of our call, it broke, and I had to call back, and you picked up. So you made... <laughs> so I just wanted to call and say thank you for that. I should have called sooner than this. This has been like three, two or three weeks since then. Enjoy that uh, after I've been riding that high. Ever yeah, since. Uh, it was fantastic. I love talking to you guys, hearing you guys, and uh, man, it was uh, it was a rush. I took a screenshot of my phone. That's how we hung up the first time, uh, and <laughs> I have uh, I've just kept that memory in my heart. Man, I love it, and I love you guys. And uh meant everything that I said good to you in my phone call, but I'll say it again. I appreciate what you guys do and who you are and how you let us into your lives and make us a part of yours and you become part of ours. So You're welcome. Don't tell anybody about that like Amazon wish list I was talking about earlier though. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I might need to actually like get another job at some point in the future. So if we keep that on the DL. That'd be that I I consider that a a great personal favor. Thank you. I don't need everybody to know about all the cam girls I support. Which is none. It is not. I do think it is important to stress that it is. It is none. But I am definitely curious. I'm. I'm just curious in like the people that buy things and like what they buy and like what they put on those lists. It's a weird. Like it's a weird curiosity. But it is definitely a curiosity. If I were a camboy, I would put groceries. Just Amazon groceries on my list. And that'd be it. Everybody bought me groceries. Just groceries? Just groceries. I mean, I'd probably put video games on there. I just think it'd be funny if it were groceries. Oh, <laughs> it would, oh, 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 oh shit, I forgot. Yeah. We're joking. Just Amazon Pantry. <laughs> Is that any good? Have you used it? Amazon For Pantry? A few things. Yeah. Just things that we really like that we can't get in good supply here. Gotcha. Like poutine. Yeah. Yeah. Nutella. You can probably get that we at get the store. get Nutella at the dollar yeah. store. Yeah, because we got that at home. <laughs> we, we put it in Jack's Blend, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, the ride that I've had with Chad Pog has been fantastic, and uh, I, I don't see a stop at any time soon, and I can't wait to see more out of this relationship. I love you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the best moment I had in all of February. Also, my wife and I had our daughter nine days ago. <laughs> love you. But that was clearly in January. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. Well, Thanks, we, Adam. We love you, too, Adam. We love you, You're too. You're not be like it, Adam. You're beloved. Beloved. Adam. Thank you for the call. Next call. Rallies and 90s Wendy's fries. Rallies is disgusting. Okay, so rallies. Uh, you hate rallies. I hate rallies. I like rallies, but here's the caveat to that. I like the fries. They're weird fries. We've talked, did we just talk about this last week? We talked about, yeah, quality of fries. Rallies didn't come up, though. Rallies? Are you sure didn't yeah, come up? Didn't bring, bring up rallies. Which one was? Because I would have gagged. Well, well, but I think you were telling me about telling me about one of them that double fried their fries, and that's rallies, right? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, rallies. I do like rallies, but whenever I eat rallies, which is rare because we don't have one here, but in so Lexington, there's one in Murray. Oh, there's one in Murray now. Mm-hmm. It, man, if I go to Murray. Which, fuck, man. Maybe I'll go to Murray tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and, get there, a- and there's never... Last time I ate at rallies, Melissa and I had like 10 minutes to eat before a movie. Oh, fuck, no. the lines don't, are long no. everywhere. Oh, no. Except don't, rallies. Don't eat rallies no before a rallies. movie. <laughs> Do not eat rallies before a movie. Were, did you make it? Or did you have to go to the bathroom during the movie? No, we made it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Rallies is... like I like rallies, but... Whenever I eat rallies, I have to mentally prepare for the immediate diarrhea. Like, um, like, <laughs> I, dude, it is like, okay, eat the food. And it is like, you can set a fucking timer for 15 minutes. I'll be shitting my guts out <laughs> within that 15 minutes. Because I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that just like, it runs through me real so fast. So if someone makes a rally sandwich with Subway lettuce and bees, you're just going to fucking turn inside out. I think any sane person would turn inside <laughs> out if they were to consume that concoction. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. Rallies. Rallies. Think about it. What's up, Tadpog? It's oh. your beloved Adam. 
for crying out loud, it took me three, maybe four weeks, I'm not even sure, to call back after my last call asking about your favorite French fries, hot and the worst French fries, cold. Mm. I don't know why I didn't call immediately back like I said I would, but... Yeah, maybe you knew that we were going to play these calls like a year from now. <laughs> and it there really didn't matter. Time's all <laughs> compacted here in Ted Buck Studio. Very true. Uh, I just found out that I am a piece of trash. So, th- Welcome to the club. Here's your jacket. <laughs> There's always new things to learn about yourself. So I'm listening in to the episode on Championship Pool, and you guys are talking about furries. And... Um, Two questions that I have for you. One, have you ever noticed that furries aren't wearing, like, just a normal fox costume? It's a fox costume with, like, weird antennae jetting out from different parts of their head and wings and claws and different pieces of leather. Like, they, I guess, I don't know why. The question I was going to ask is, why do you think that they are just so outrageous? Where are you looking at furries, Adam? (laughs) I, uh, I've never seen a furry like that. I have. With weird antennas and leather? Yeah, they're like fun add-ons. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just saying, look, I'm just saying I've seen I guess it. I'm used to the very animated, like, foxes that look like Robin Hood, like Disney, like, yeah. that, like that kind of fox. What yeah. I, that's what I think of when I think of furries. I think that's like vanilla. I think that's like vanilla furry. Oh, so, all right. So there's the, It gets there's, deeper there's than that. There's that kink side. Well, okay. well, I mean, look, the kink side, uh, completely apart from it, I mean, yeah, there's like, there are different, I've definitely seen. There's some depth. The, yeah, the wings and antennas and stuff like that. I think it just, like, you probably, I don't know, you probably get, Sometimes you just want to put some antenna on. You know what I mean? Sometimes I like to wear a cock ring. Sometimes a person in a fox costume likes to put antennas on there. Okay, you know what I fair. mean? That's fair. You got a, you got a variety. is the spice of life. And like if you're, you know, if you're a fox and you're having sex with the same badger every day, sometimes you put an antenna on and it makes things a little fresh. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. I see it. All right. I don't know. Oh, yeah, because buddy's yum. All right. Fox yeah, antenna. Okay. Yeah. Because they Plus, you get better signal that way. <laughs> <laughs> your game gear tuner, TV you tuner, your TV like tuner, and your fucking game gear. clear as shit, man. <laughs> Peacocking, or is it because, like, hey, man, I don't want you to mistake me for miles per hour. No, I am a furry, and I am here to yiff. Miles per hour had two tails, I'll have you know. He was no ordinary fox, and he could fly. He saved Sonic's life, and that's not a joke. It's true, you know. It's totally He's also true. the smartest of, of Sonic's crew, so there's also that. Really? Okay. And he flies a plane; doesn't need to. It's true. He can fly. Yeah. He's it's that. like when Goku and Piccolo learn how to drive that car. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> but he's that smart. He's like, "Fuck, man! What if one of my tails falls off? I need a backup plan." Yeah. Contingencies. That's true. Both my tails. I just become yeah. a tailless fox. He'd make a good public servant. I feel like out of all of the Sonic crew, tails is probably like the one I'd vote for mayor. Tails would be a good mayor. Of yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he'd be a, he'd be a real good mayor for Paducah, honestly. Like, yeah, he'd be pretty good. Right? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really feel like Googling it. But here's my second question. If you boys, and I know you boys, will one day be furries. What do you mean one day? Together, at least. What would your furry costume be? Let me hear it. I have no answer for myself, so I will not promise to give you one. Uh, but I'd love to hear about yours. And back to my original question, I think Rally's French fries by themselves are some of the best things on earth when they're fresh. I won't vouch for anything else Rally's, but the fries, fresh yeah. and hot, are so good. No, the seasoning. Chick-fil-A hot and fresh are also very good, but I give the edge to Rally's because it's something that I don't eat often. And the 90s Wendy's fries from back in the day when they were like big square. I know. Uh, you talked about long, this. I like the new ones. I think that I think they're good. I like the old ones too, but I like these new ones that have like potato skins on them every now and then, and they got the sea salt and all that. Mm, I'm cool. down for that. Yeah, yeah. Singular. I said a lot of a good a bougie lot of fast food fry. Everyone loves a good bougie fast mm-hmm. food fry. Is that the bougiest fast food fry? Is the Wendy's? It might be. It's weird, isn't it? Unless you think of like. 
Penn Station or something like that that does the the hand cut that fries counts. like that. That, might ca- be, that counts. That could be a little bit. And those are pretty good fries. Fry. I usually pass on them though. Yeah, because I'm a. They're like okay, so Penn Station. I really like Penn Station. Mm-hmm. I think they've got a good Reuben. Although I'm a heretic and I don't like the Thousand Island. It's just like just. I know that's not a true Reuben, but, wrong but whatever. That. Corn beef, sauerkraut, bring it on. Yep. That's what I want. So um, the first time we got Penn Station, I remember being like, oh, shit, they got fries here. Whoa, finally. They've married these two wonderful things. And I got the fries. I was like, man, that was good. Never want them again, though. They're good fries, but I just don't want fries with a sandwich. I, do, I want chips. I'm with yeah, you. I want I'm chips, with man. Yep. I, yep. I'm already eating a thing that's kind of mushy. You know what I mean? Like the bread is kind of crusty, of course, but mm-hmm. like the things inside of it are mushy. I want a crispy thing to go yep. with it. Yep. No, I'm with you 100%. I get, that's why, part of the reason I just get burnt out on fries like really easily. Like most of the time, I just don't even get fries. I go home and I get chips. Or, yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah. yeah. Which I mean, I love, I do, I love French fries. Sometimes I'll get French fries just by themselves, like especially if it's McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Like uh, there have been several nights where it's just been like, ah, uh, I'll get some French fries. Nothing. Yeah. It always kind of feels weird, but I do it anyway because yeah. it's like, fuck, man. I'm an I'm an adult. I could order a large order of fries yeah. right the fuck now. Super size it. I don't care if you haven't had that in 20 years. <laughs> right? Fucking do it. That reminds me of the time that I went through Wendy's and uh, asked for. Asked, told them the biggie size the order, and they were like, "What, <laughs> <laughs> sir? What? <laughs> uh, biggie size it? You don't do that anymore? Okay. Uh. The the wrapper, sir. I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> what is the largest serving that you're legally allowed yeah. to give? Yeah, me? you better check that wave file for me doing that because I don't know what that's gonna look like. <laughs> Horrible, but it's fine. It's I mean it's funny. So I'm uh, we're we're all good. Man, yeah, super size. They don't do that anymore? Not in a long time. I remember I remember they got rid of it when we were in college. Is large the new super like is that all they did? Did they just change the name? Like is large No, they just got rid of it. They don't serve it that big anymore. Gotcha. Because I remember going through with Jacob when we were living together, going through McDonald's and him doing that, and then sorry, sir, we don't we don't do that anymore. And he was just Incensed. Yeah. He's like, fine, give me two mediums. That's just that's what he's like. I don't know. Now I spend a little more money. It's probably more calories. Why can't I just have a fucking super size? I wonder if it I wonder if it does equal out. Two mediums seems like that does equal a super size. That's what maybe. I think is a little more than a large. I did like that super size. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, yeah. it's really good they took it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it honestly is. Because it's like here is like, I don't know, man. This is a shitty thing to like be proud about, but I am proud when Nikki's like, uh, we're going to McDonald's. You want anything? Yeah. I want a uh, McDouble and uh, <laughs> a, a medium order of French fries. A medium. A medium. You heard me. A medium. <laughs> Thank you. I still remember vividly like, Whenever I would come down from culinary school and like I would normally stay with you, you guys one night or we game or whatever. I remember staying with you one night. Like I think Nikki was gone. It was just me and you. And we went to Wendy's like three times that day. <laughs> I don't remember that. Because <laughs> it was just like, I did go to it Wendy's was just right up the road yeah. from that apartment. Yeah, yeah. And so dude. every meal we just got in the car and went to <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> And what's funny is I don't remember it because that was probably just normal for me. <laughs> I remember we, we bought like each bought a, a four pack of Orange Rockstar and then had Wendy's like three times. Man, those were good times, man. <laughs> that feels like so fucking long ago Yeah, because it was. It <laughs> that was. was like 12 years ago. Yeah, because I remember like... We were sitting around, and you were thinking about running an Oriental Adventures game. So I made, like, two mm, characters yeah. to kind of compare. Mm-hmm. And then we had Wendy's whole bunch. And then I never ran that game. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like a good weekend to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so, dude, that Wendy's was really good, though. Like, it's a good Wendy's. It was a really good yeah. Wendy's. Like, Richmond Road Wendy's. It's oh. just so out of the way unless you live like right there, dude. Man, it, they were on it, dude. Yep. They were on it. How do we get there? Rallies, fries, something, something. Penn Station. Yeah, Penn Station. All right. 
Dude, Bo- I do bougie like, fries. I yeah. do. Yeah, bougie fries. Whew, we made it. I do like Penn Station. Yeah. <laughs> but here's what here's what irritates me. It's like I'm telling you guys, Firehouse Subs got a really good Italian. Penn Station is pretty good, not as good. Firehouse Subs all the fuck the way across town. Yep. <laughs> Penn Station literally right next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Nikki, so like the other night, Nikki and I got Penn Station. I got my uh I got my Heretic Reuben. And uh, she normally gets the uh, club. But I noticed, I looked over and I was like, that's not the club at all. I was like, what did you order? <laughs> Which is weird, man. Because like, I was about to say she's a creature of habit, but uh, clearly I am too. Because it's <laughs> like, Dave, name sandwiches at Penn Station. Uh, a Reuben with Out Thousand Island. Ham. <laughs> uh, <Damn. laughs> Reuben with Thousand Island. A six inch cold cut combo. <laughs> <laughs> the hamburger sandwich. <laughs> uh, four hot dogs split vertically and placed on bread. The Paducah dog from, <laughs> from uh, Harnage Drive In. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Henry loves that. Uh, but like, I looked down and I was like, what is that? That's not the. That's not the who are who you? Are you? <laughs> yeah. What do we do? Right. Uh, and she's like, oh, I got the Italian. And man, I gotta tell you, dude, something inside me was just like, "Is this what getting cheated on?" (laughs) (laughs) I was like, "Look, I don't mean any disrespect, but I feel like I need to tell you this: their Italian is worse than Firehouse Subs. If you want a good Italian, let's go to Firehouse Subs. Throw that in the garbage. (laughs) No, I'll take that loss. Let's go." (laughs) My next breath was like, "Are you done with that?" And she said, "Yeah." And then I ate it. (laughs) <laughs> you negged her into an into a extra sandwich It wasn't my intent But now actually that you say that I'm sorry sweetheart I need you to know you're a garbage person if you eat that sandwich <laughs> But I'm going to save you from that Yeah, Give it it's to fine, me. I'm already garbage it's look, fine. You're already a lot better yeah. right now No, look, This is my cross to bear, I'll eat that Italian <laughs> <laughs> so This is how much I love you Right, yeah <laughs> <laughs> And then I, I, honestly I had two bites And was like I remember why I haven't had an Italian in a long time. Uh, I tasted that Italian for the rest of the night. The rest, the Italian dressing the, is yes, so strong on the it. The rest of the night. Yep. You would think it would be like, I don't know, the sauerkraut from <laughs> you know the Reuben. <laughs> Ooh, nope. Oof. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a great combo. <laughs> Beloved Adam continues. I said square, round, and rectangular. Let me start that over. What? Please, yes, please. Long rectangular French fries. When they would get cold, you might as well just throw it in the garbage. So, love to hear your answers on that if I haven't already. And also, which furry are you? Oh, right. Love you guys. Bye. Okay. Which furry uh, uh, are we? Uh, I would be a fox, but probably like, hmm. like not a nine tails, but like probably a four tail. No, five. I like, the, I only would go with an odd number. A pentagonal tail. Yeah, the Pente- pentagonal. Pentagonal. Yeah. Pente- oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, what about you? That's hard. That's hard. I don't know. I think you could also be a panther. I can see you as a fox. I can see you as a panther. As a panther? I can see you as Bagheera. Oh, well, I do like Bagheera quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. I've never quite wanted to have sex with Bagheera, but I understand that that's not <laughs> entirely what the fandom is about. <laughs> but me being me... This this Jungle Book fan apparently doesn't want to exclusively fuck Bagheera. I mean, I get, I get it. I mean, Jungle Book fan is kind of like. I suppose Roger Kipling may have not been that might have been his vision. I mean, that's kind of a stretch. I mean, I like the Jungle Book. It's one of my favorite Disney cartoon movies. Do I love it? Yeah, probably. Am I a fan? <laughs> what do you think I would be? I don't even know. What do I think? What that are you my would animal? Be? A bear. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's a very personal question that requires a lot of introspection well, we're, we're, and we're thought. Cl- we're close enough. Are we? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, I do want to go ahead and say, uh, not a joke, there are some furries in our community. So oh, okay. uh, throw that out there. I may have said some things, uh, I don't know, near the beginning of this podcast <laughs> that probably didn't sound so great. <laughs> but uh, at this point, furries. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think a bear 
probably probably a bear. Probably work. What's the most dwarven of animals? No, you, a, a bear, a badger, cat, dude. I'm sorry, a cat. Yeah, okay. You'd be a cat, like river cat. Yeah, like a like a yeah, you okay. like river cat essentially. Okay, like you, he, you could be a corgi. I'll be a river cat. All right, that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be our favorite pets. <laughs> well, hold, hold oh. up, hold up. Wait a minute, favorite pet. You be Pinkerton and I'll be River Cat. Hold on, man. We don't we don't play favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we don't play, but we do. Yeah, and it would be Pinkerton. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, man. Clementine dog really kind of kind of kind of love that dog. Yeah. Yeah. Good. She sucks sometimes, but like it's just cuz she wants to get out and run. Mm-hmm. That's the only, like that's just an energetic dog. She's yeah. just an energetic dog and we just don't have the means to give her all of that that she needs because we're yeah. at work. And even if we, we don't have a fenced-in yard, which we do want, but even if we did, we wouldn't want to leave her outside all day. Uh, so, And Nikki and I both work, so it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, I'm super sorry, Clementine. Can you just like get fat like the rest of our animals? <laughs> <laughs> and like it's all you can do to make it across the room. <laughs> That's a lot easier for me. Thank yeah, you. it's and you're so much cuter. Yeah. God, you fucking pets are so much cuter. We're just fucking fat. <laughs> like I want, I want you to have a hairless belly from it dragging on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have to put band aids on your nipples from oh, getting caught on the floor. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's not like that. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. No. I don't like that. <laughs> but fat enough to roll. And laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fat enough to be like, hey, look at my fat dog. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> that fat. Um, but I walk her like a like a fiend. Uh, I've told you about the death marches that I take Henry and her on, yes? The death marches? Yeah, we take like, whenever Henry's like, let's go for a walk. It's like, all right. Five miles. Five miles later. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Teach you to ask. We go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Next call. What's up, Tad Pog? Yeah, Link. This is Master Cycle Baron Link. Link. After listening to a few recent episodes, it got me thinking. You guys could. I'd like to. Sorry to cut you off, Link. I'd like to point out Link's call quality. That's yeah. good. That's a pretty yeah, good yeah. call quality right there. I like that go back through any of your episodes and redo them which one or ones would you like to do again all right thanks take care guys all right here's my priority what games are going to get us the most listens super mario world uh link to the past these are the ones that i would like to redo and it's not because i feel like they're bad episodes but it's just like let's get some new let's get some let's get some let's expand our audience by talking about games that people give a shit about instead yeah. of i don't know we're back i feel like we <laughs> should talk about all the early rpgs again that we did walkthroughs for so like final yeah. fantasy 4 primarily on top cuz so i feel like that was a we did not do that game justice in the weird wrong walkthrough that the four of us did <laughs> there are people who really like those episodes really yeah mm-hmm. they've told me uh, and I cannot wrap my mind around it. Um, maybe it's just because they like listening to people who claim to love something, but simultaneously clearly knowing nothing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like we've already redone Final Fantasy IV. I feel like we touched like with the after well, years. It's like people claim to love Jesus, but they know nothing about what the Bible says about him. So it's it's just well, it's what people do. Doesn't make it right. <laughs> oh no, no, definitely not. But it's what people do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. The early RPGs I'm kind of squeamish about because it's like, I don't know, man. I would feel like I would need to play those again, especially like the ones that I didn't finish, uh, like Secret of Evermore uh, and, and all that. Secret of Evermore would be good. Um, maybe, maybe even Illusion of Gaia. That was so early on. Well, I'm saying Secret of Evermore would not be good. I it would not want to do that. Mm. No. Because I didn't finish it the first time, and I don't oh. want to. I don't. I wouldn't mind taking a crack at Secret of Mana again. Really? Yeah. Because some people you hated lo- it. Yeah, some <laughs> people love it so much. It's sort of like, like Kirby's Dream Course almost. Like, okay, well, I'll give it another shot. I gave Kirby's Dream Course another shot. It is the best game that's ever been made. <laughs> 
J- John Sullivan has joined the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's the best game that's ever been made. Um, I don't think that. I don't think that if you revisited Secret of Mana, I don't think be, you, I don't. Be I don't think you're gonna like it anymore. Yeah, I honestly don't. I think it's. I like it. When I replayed it, I didn't finish it. We could have some sort of a, a fan request, right, and see how many what gets the most most votes, what people want to see redone from the top one hundred. Oh, like what we would do? Yeah, wanna... like if everybody wants, like if you want us to redo an, redo an episode for a Patreon thing. Fuck, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to redo any of them, man. It's done. I don't know. There, I I take I, there are games that I could sit here like. Okay, I'd be willing to do it for like a game that I could like. Super, you want to talk about Super Mario World right the fuck now? Yeah, totally down. Mm. But like when you get into like I don't know, Secret of Mana. Even that, it's like uh, I remember there's some guys that shoot you out of a cannon and like that's how you travel. Like that's all I can bring to the table right yeah. now. I'd have to do research on that, and I don't want to do that again. It's something you like right now? Let's talk about Final Six again then. Yeah, we could do that. I would be pretty bad at it because I could be like. I can't remember what's changed from the randomizer in the original game. So, <laughs> so you know, when the ghost is there taking over Doma and gives you a magicite. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I, you know when you get to the when you get to almost done with Kefka's Tower and you fight the the ghost train and then Doom Gaze mm-hmm. in the castle. Mm-hmm. You know, the game really opens up when you get the airship in the very beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Link, it was really good to hear from you. Uh, next call. When you go, there is just because I'm thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Whenever you go uh, to say in the world of ruin to get Terra and the village, you know, the village has been destroyed. That when you go into that one of those houses that's just full of kids. Yeah, one of the kids, if you talk to them, will tell you what is in there. So she'll say, oh, please don't take away Genji Glove from us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, not going here. <laughs> uh, you know what I would like, what I would I honestly like really love, is if somebody made a slight ROM hack to like Final Fantasy VI that like seems really slight at first, but then it like completely changes the story. Uh, and then they just like, over the course of time, Leak it to all the ROM sites to the point where it's obscured. Like, what is the real Final Fantasy VI, and what is like the we we'll get the Berenstein Berenstain yes, Bear sort of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's a that I think that would be interesting. Yeah. Now, I remember when Kefka gave everybody in Doma AIDS. <laughs> I thought it was poison. <laughs> I think you're remembering wrong. It was AIDS. Well, I'm talking like maybe even like something happens where it's like Kefka- Leo. Do you have the AIDS? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, General Leo told me that I have AIDS. <laughs> uh, I mean, even something like Kefka dies in the world of balance, like kind of deal, where it's like, oh, well, I guess the whole rest of the game just takes place in the world of balance then, or like what happens? <laughs> yeah, because you know what ha- what like what happens in Final Fantasy VI if Kefka is taken out of the picture. Yeah, like if you if you kill him on the snowfields or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm curious. Like what does that what does this alternate alternate history look like? I think a lot of the still. I think a lot of the same stuff still happens, uh, but not a lot of the world of ruins. The stuff, ruins right? stuff doesn't happen. Right. None because of that happens. Gestal gets all the power, but right. he doesn't. He doesn't fuck everything up. He doesn't move the statues. Right. It becomes a less interesting game. Yeah. It becomes the lawful evil version instead of the chaotic evil version. Yeah, yeah, but also less interesting because like everything stays the same. Yeah, I guess it could be a shorter game. Yeah, he's pretty much trying to enslave humanity as opposed to just fucking face stir the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next call. It's from six one five. Hey, Tad Fog, this is Paul again, uh, just calling in with another anime recommendation. Hey, Paul. Uh, for the next little bit, I figured I'd talk to you about a sports anime, because it's something that... Next call. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people kind of overlook when they're coming into anime, especially from our generation, you know. Um, but uh, the thing that really... Paul's young, 
and I appreciate him including me in his generation. <laughs> Thank you. I, I honestly do really, I really do appreciate that. That, that makes me feel really good. Got me on board with it as a genre was a series called Hajime no Ippo. Uh, in the U.S., it was eventually brought over here as a series called Fighting Spirit. Uh, it's about boxing, and uh, it is it's it's the most boilerplate basic thing. There's a guy. He's I'm he's sold. Bullied at school. Uh, <laughs> he had me a boilerplate <laughs> about boxing, and he learns that he really loves boxing. And you know, he's a sweet kid, and he's really got a knack for it. You know, and so he just becomes one of the best boxers and it's it's very simple it's very well done uh they've done it, it's based on a manga that started in the late 80s and is still going currently the um, ladies but uh the what the ladies, the ladies? yeah it uh has i think about four seasons uh there's usually like a gap of five or six years in between them just because I hope the characters age over that period of time. Like, I honestly do think that'd be kind of interesting, yeah. where it's like, okay, we take five years off every season for this anime, and then when we come back, it's like time just kept going. You know, It's like we just turned the camera off, and then five years later, turned it back on. I can dig that. I, I couldn't explain why. But, um, but yeah, it's really good. It has incredibly well animated fights. It has a really good sense of, you know, impact and motion in the, in the punches. Uh, and it's really well put together. I, I would say if you like seeing people beat the shit out of each other, yep. uh, Hajime no Ifo is a series that you're going to like. In a fantasy setting that's not real life. Cause I'm usually terrified when I see that, <laughs> even on like in videos where it's like, uh, like World Star. It's like, uh, I don't know, man. This shit. <laughs> This shit looks like every Wendy's. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> this could happen in my this, Wendy's. This could happen at Richmond Road Wendy's. And you're going to get attached to the different characters in it. You know, uh, there is Jim Mace. There's some fun goofballs that actually have some real character to them once you get to know them. Uh, but yeah, Hajime no Ippo. It is a fantastic series. You can see the most recent season on Crunchyroll. Beyond that, I think you'd have to get... Uh, the U.S. DVDs, which aren't in print anymore, or uh, just uh, find them through Mr. Bay, I guess. But yeah, check it out. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks, Paul. I always appreciate your your anime recommendations because they're they're good. Um, I may have to check that out. I think that I think that we're kind of like we're like to the point now, Nikki and I, where it's like. We got a lot of recommendations to get through. And I'm even throwing stuff on top where it's like, because she liked The Promised Neverland. And I, I feel like I haven't really actually given that a really good pitch. It is honestly, this is going to sound weird, but it is the closest anime to Lost that I've ever watched because every episode is like something else, something new is revealed. It's game changing like every episode there's like this huge reveal and it's like you're trying to put all these puzzle pieces together the difference is and i was talking to nikki about this today uh, i was like but i feel like they knew what they were doing like they had a plan for it it didn't feel like because lost kind of got for a minute there where it's like they are just taking fan theories and doing those fan theories I right <laughs> i sort of think that someone guessed what it was so he pivoted are you talking about like how it all like ended and all that? Yeah, I think I think early on somebody called it a hundred percent, so he said, "Oh fuck that," and did something different. Yeah, just, but I mean, just so it wasn't that. And I like, I like, I love Lost. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's also one of those things where it's like there are definitely ser like seasons where it's like they did not know what they were doing. Oh yeah, like. There, there are some seasons that are fucking brilliant, and then the first season of Lost is one of my favorite seasons of TV yeah, ever. No, the it's first it's, season. Yeah, I think fantastic. it's just man. I love that intrigue survival shit. Yeah, I fucking love totally. It. That's why I love the name of the wind. That that book I, I bought you many many years ago. The name of the wind. I loved it. It was great. I, to I <laughs> totally read it. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is sort of this poor kid trying to make it and put himself through school. Yeah, and survive and learn and then you know you lose it as he finally kind of gets more success later on but that first book and i remember other people hate it for that reason they hate the sort of like he's always there's always something bad and he's always just trying to make it it's really hard and he's hungry and like some people hate that but yeah. i i love that survival edge to shit 
I I think I think that you would really like the Promised Neverland. Yeah. Like I I really I really really do. I think okay. that, I think that you would like it a lot. Um, and so Nick, Friends Reunion, Promised Neverland. Gotcha. I mean I'm I mean you're definitely gonna like the Friends Reunion. I mean well, Melissa. Whenever I told her about it, she was like, uh, "Reviews aren't very good." And then, so I was like, "No, we don't know that." <laughs> People love to shit on Friends, so let's just wait. Let's just watch it. Yeah, but who's reviewing it? Like, if you're a fan, if you're like a big fan of it, you're gonna love it, right? I mean, that's what I would hope. It, I was like, what, what's so wrong with it? She's like, people just say they're not as enthusiastic as, as they'd hope. Uh, well, fuck that. People are <laughs> uh, here's here's what would be really concerning. Uh, people are comparing it to uh, the last season of Arrested Development. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's when you get worried. Oh, oh, okay. People are cons- comparing like the this last episode of Dexter. <laughs> Were they in all the endings? Oh, mm, okay. Uh, but s- s- because she's and Nikki's enjoyed the Promised Neverland so much, and I know that she really likes like true crime, uh, and I know that this is not a true crime show, so don't, so I get that. But I have been reconsidering uh, watching Death Note because, uh, mm. like, I did not like Death Note, but I do think that I honestly think that she might enjoy it more than than I did. Have you watched all of Death Note? No, because I didn't like it. <laughs> well, I'm interesting. There is a very weird streak of like five episodes where it is a radically weird departure. So I'm wondering is that far into it or it's fairly far into yeah. it. And I've heard And then they go back, and I was just like, that was fucking weird. Yeah. It was like whenever I watched Oz. Love Oz. But they did this storyline that they very quickly abandoned. It's like a one episode thing, Like it never happened. Yeah, where they're like, no, it's a pill where it ages you the number of years to your sentence. And so I was like, that's fucking stupid. Let's not do that. Take it back. It just wore off. It didn't work. Okay, now keep going. (laughs) Well, it's like that could be interesting, but not in an already established show you know what i mean yeah. like unless that becomes the whole show that would have to become the whole show that's so fantastical that at that point you have the show has to be about about that. this miracle thing <laughs> and the, then the ethical implications of can you do that right right so they ban it just like our friday night lights and friday night yeah, lights I never, I never saw any of it um spoilers are friday night lights that Lame there's a character who um almost gets raped so another character Kills the rapist, just almost rapist, almost rapist, but straight up, but probably, up, but probably raped other people. Probably, so yeah. rapist, yeah, yeah. Like it's clear that there's a bad thing going on. So, uh, yeah, kills this dude. Like, so high schooler kills this dude for this girl that he he likes to stops her from getting raped, murders her, which is super super heavy for this high school football trauma. Wait, murders the girl? But he murders the rapist. Like as he's trying to rape her, he like. Picks up a rock and kills the guy. Okay, but not the girl. Not the girl. Okay, the girl. He's he's in love with the girl, so that's why like he was coming to talk to her when he stumbles upon this, kills the guy, uh-huh. and then they're wondering what they're gonna do together. So then they're like, so on one hand you there's like yeah, there, well, on one hand, there's like this super there's like a lighthearted football drama, and then there's these other two kids trying to. Trying to bury and destroy the body of the rapist they murdered. I see. I didn't realize that that was totally way different. Oh, it's, to- the show. it's okay. very different. Okay. Like okay. the story tro- tro- is serious, but it's not about murder. Yeah. So then, like, it's they, not, so, it's they not. sort of very quickly, like, okay, the guy's kid is a cop. Uh, the guy's dad is a cop, and he sort of takes care of it. Okay, moving on back to football drama, <laughs> and will not mention the murder or any implications that. Either character suffers for the rest of the show. They just get away with that it. That feels everything's like, okay. That feels like a way to write characters out of a show. You I mean, know they're also I mean? on the show, then they go back to their regular but football that's, drama. That's what's weird about it is like they'd still stick around. Like that feels like a way to like get rid of some characters. Yeah, where it's like, yeah, man, this fucking fucked up thing happened, so they're not here anymore. Uh, but no he, one knows why. They think they killed a guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the taste of <laughs> Man, people love that show. I, I've heard really good things about it. I mean, I don't like football, but uh, it's a fucking great show. Great show. I feel like it's one that I probably couldn't go back to, honestly. like It'd be hard. It would be hard, I think. Especially with how much like 
good shit also out there right now, you know. Sure. It'd be something good if like you've to watch with Henry or something, you know. Well, I don't want my six year old to see a almost rape. Oh, almost rapist, yeah, 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 that's true. So 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 take out the the, the, the end of season two. <laughs> you'll be good. Yeah, we'll just watch it and then be like Oh shit! It's that episode. Right, when, when he's nine, <laughs> skip, when he's skip, nine, right? he's old enough for it, and then it's Friday Night Lights here. Uh, we have a lot more calls. Yeah, but we're also about the end of the show because I need to go to bed. And I also have a quiz that Ross mm. sent in today. Okay. Uh, so I would like to get through that quiz if you do have time for it. But I guess what I'm trying to say is yeah. that I think that we're done with the calls. Okay, sounds good. Is that, is that good? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. We got a quiz that came in from uh, one Ross Rachel Green uh, from across the pond. Uh, and that quiz is entitled Something That's Being Loaded Right Now. I promise. We're getting there. Sculpt me like one of your French girls. Ross begins, I got a handsome tax rebate, so I did what all sensible people do and paid off a bunch of debts. Actually, that's a lie. I pissed it away on a new TV. Good, good. Priorities. I found a Samsung... Roof still leaking. New TV. New TV. Got it. Oh, fuck. The TV got wet. (laughs) (laughs) I found a Samsung QLED. I don't know if that's how you say it or if you say QLED or I don't know. I have no idea either. Um, One that I like. Cueled. Cueled. Gamer Fuel and sponsored Cueled phone. Uh, One that I liked. Ordered it at the shop and went to pay for it. Then I saw a bunch of OLED screens, OLEDs, I guess, and fell in love with them, so I talked myself into buying one. The shop were being real pains in the arse, saying they, could deli- they couldn't deliver it for two weeks, and they can't be wall-mounted, so I really have nowhere for it to go. <laughs> uh, so I stomped off in a huff, refusing to wait two weeks, then ordered the TV I wanted in the first place directly from Samsung, Cheaper than they had it in the shop, and it'll be here in two weeks. No, just kidding. It says in a few days, but I do think it'd be funny if it was two weeks. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ross says, fuck shopping local. Anyway, it turns out mm-hmm. Sculptured Software developed a bunch of SNES games, so here's a quiz about them. Enjoy. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. First question. In this fighting in this fighting games all characters feature the same move set like scoop slams suplexes drop kicks clothes lines hip tosses and elbow drops sounds like a wrestling game maybe it's a super nintendo game it's a super nintendo game by sculptured software now i can't that really doesn't help me honestly i mean because i mean sorry not slam masters has the like a fighting game that's a wrestling game, right? <laughs> but that's Capcom, right? Yeah, you're probably right. Um, maybe it is a wrestling game. Maybe it's like that one, the wrestling game where the Undertaker like throws ghosts out of his hands and shit. That happens? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's one comical like Doink throws pies and the like, Undertaker throws throws ghosts and shit. Yeah. Uh, you said Doink and it reminded me of, um, I read the word doing the other day as doing. And it took me like a good three <laughs> seconds to realize because it was like out of context. Colonel Stack error. <laughs> right? No, I mean, Colonel. it was like because it was just by itself, you know? It wasn't part of a sentence. It was just doing. <laughs> and I was like, I looked at I, I it on my phone and I was like, what the fuck is oh, doing? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you want, I don't know, WrestleMania? Sure. Logging it in. It is WWF Super WrestleMania. We, yeah. We fucking did yeah, it. Yeah, we got it. We fucking did it. Yeah, we did. Next question. Uh, this sports game features fictional characters named after real players, such as Strawberry, Nan- Nandez, and Neckper. Daryl Strawberry? I think, yeah. That must be, it must be a baseball game. Daryl. I don't know what game it is, though. Um, Super... Super RBI Baseball? If it, if it actually has character names in it, I'm going to say it's like MLB 96. It doesn't say it's licensed. It just says it features fictional characters named after real players. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so definitely unlicensed. So you're probably right. It's something like Super Super RBI. or Super RBI would be my guess. But okay. 
Also, I think the batter up peripheral. I think there is a batter up game. All right, so batter up then. All right, super batter up. It is fuck <laughs> Roger Clemens MVP baseball. Damn it, that old Jim. One of my favorite episodes. Favorite episodes we have ever done. Really? Oh yeah. Let's redo it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ruin we it. We can play that game again. Why is it one of your favorites? I just think it's so fucking funny. Really? It's so negative and shitty <laughs> and funny. And we have and we have Chris on it. And mm-hmm. I just think it's funny. Okay. I think it's ridiculous. Under ridiculous and funny episode. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean it it definitely was a bad game, so I totally understand. Uh, next question. In this game, you have to chase pages down the street to unlock levels to play in. Bart's Nightmare. All right. Bart's Nightmare. Going to lock it in. It is, in fact, The Simpsons colon Bart's Nightmare. Well done. I haven't, I haven't played it. Oh, my God. I've rented it so many times. It sucks, and I rented it so many times I trying to beat it, and I just fucking crashed I and burned. I rented <laughs> Bart versus the World like a bunch of fucking times, <laughs> so I get it. <laughs> Space Mutants, I couldn't handle more than one rental, but versus the <sighs> World, it was like, super okay. rough. Uh, next question. Nobody could come up with a name nobody didn't hate. That was a quote. Quote, nobody could come up with a name nobody didn't hate. End quote. Race driving. Some of the names suggested were Kumite, Dragon Attack, and Death Blow. Pit Fighter? Pit Fighter. Yeah. Pit Fighter. Locking Pit it fighter. in is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I would rather be called Kumite. <laughs> uh, but with a C. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, next question Cryptic, Packaging Fable of the Circle. What? Say it again. Cryptic. Packaging fable of the circle. So is he is he DM thesaurus.com and do other alternate names for what this actual title is? Maybe. Packaging fable of the circle. What's another word for circle? Ball. Ball. Balls. Could be. 3D. Because he says packaging, I can't think of anything other than phalanx because of the box art. But that's probably not it, right? Mm. What was the f- the first word was again? Cryptic. Cryptic. Dash. Packaging fable of the circle. Something story of the ball. Sphere. S- story of the sphere. Circle. What's, I mean, a circle's a circle, right? Mm. Or are we supposed to, is it a different shape? Something of the other shape. Square. So, uh, env- envelope story of the square. <laughs> classic. It's a classic Super Nintendo gem. It's a true hidden gem because it literally doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Harvest moon. It's weird that I also went moon because I think it's because it's. I'm thinking circle of the moon. Circle of the moon is what referred to me too. All right, but harvest moon maybe circle. Harvest moon Fable? locking it in, but that's know. Natsume. Right? It's Harvest Moon. So, yeah. Uh, packaging Fable of the Circle. What the? What's another word for packaging? Box. Box? Crate. <laughs> Crate Story of the s- Sphere. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't I know. No I don't idea. get this. Uh, we're also just assuming, watch it be like, I don't know, that we're not get, picking that, it up at right, all. Right, right. He's really if if he's really reinventing the wheel with no no knowledge of him um, telling us what we're do, what he's doing. Here. This has to be a super common game, has to be for the hint to be this, this Cri- cryptic, or is cryptic part of it, or is cryptic just what he's saying? Hey, this is cryptic. I don't know. I don't know if it's a hint or what. Packaging fable of the circle. Is there like a famous Super Nintendo game that had like? <laughs> Weird packaging or something? Circular, weird circular packaging. I mean, Earthbound had weird packaging. Yeah, but that's that's not sculptured. See, I don't even know enough about Chuck this. Rock. Circles a wheel. Yeah, <laughs> Ch- Chuck is you a shipping method. You throw it, <laughs> locking it in. It is boxing legends. Of the ring. 
<sighs> Next question. I mean what I said earlier when I called you mean, Ross. <laughs> Next question. In this two-on-two sports game, uh, players can collect gems on the court to purchase in-game power-ups, such as a protective force field or a cream pie. Yes, you heard that correctly. Cream pie uh, to throw at opponents. Bill Ambeer's college basketball or combat basketball? Combat basketball. basketball? Did you throw pies? I can't remember that. I I feel like we would have remembered that, but maybe not. Because didn't you pick stuff up on the court there? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Or is there a football game where you do something like that? I, I don't. I don't know. Two on two football. That's there's no way it's that, right? Maybe it is. Two two on two. So it's not. Oh, it's the it's the fucking Looney Tunes b ball. Wacky sports. Because there there's a it's like NBA Jam. It's a two on two Looney Tunes basketball. Game. Oh, Looney Tunes. Um, I think it is Looney Tunes b ball. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. Sounds good. It's something like, All right. it's something like that. Locking it in. It is Looney Tunes B ball. Nice there job, man. Because I was like, cream pie. Okay, well, that makes sense. I gotta be I gotta be honest with you. Cream pie sent me down a whole other direction <laughs> that I couldn't pull myself. <laughs> I was like Artax in the fucking swamp of sorrow. Dude, like pull it on me. And it's like, it ain't gonna happen. Looney Tunes Dave. No, 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 coming in a vagina. No, Dave, Looney Tunes. <laughs> 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 Not all creep eyes are in a vagina. Artex! <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're very right. Next question. Creator JC dismissed the idea of having a story at all. But all right, let me just say something about the Swamp of Sorrows, okay? Uh-huh. So the whole thing is that Artex is, you sink when you're sad, right? Yep. yep. What the fuck was the horse sad about? And then when the boy is sad that the horse dies, he doesn't sink. What the fuck? Yeah. It's almost like it was a plot device to kill a horse, which is unfair. (laughs) (laughs) That poor fucking horse. Why not just have a boulder fall on the horse? (laughs) Or how about the next scene? The horse isn't there anymore. And someone's like, hey, what about that horse? Oh, Uh, Swamp Man. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm sorry. That horse got sad and doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> this is a this is a good message to give kids, this right? Is, uh, this when is an you're allegory sad, for depression. You disappear. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be sad, kids. Never no matter sad. what, smile. Keep smiling. Right. Don't tell don't anybody it. about your uncle. <laughs> <If> Just <laughs> smile. <laughs> you remember, kids. If you're sad, never show it, or you'll fucking sink <laughs> and die. Uh, but uh, if, if you're a horse or a little boy, don't ever show that you're sad. Anyway, that's how I feel about the never ending story. Uh, <laughs> next question. Uh, creator JC dismissed the idea of having a story at all. Quote uh, The Bible, Jesus Christ. <laughs> J- can I get a witness? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. A church ain't going nowhere. <laughs> JC, can you hear me? Was that it? I can't remember. Yeah, Something like we're gonna have to play Stomp in its entirety. Yeah. Guess guess who tried to uh pick up girls in a youth group in middle school? It was me. Yeah, me too. That's yeah. how you did it. That's how you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember the whole thing about the first time I figured a girl was in the church, church basement? basement? Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, creator JC. Man, it really is Creator JC. It really does put an <laughs> well, image he, in your talking mind. talking about right? Jesus, right. the Creator <laughs> JC. Yeah. Creator JC, uh, Grandmaster Carpenter, uh, dismissed the idea of having a story at all. Humanity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, story in a game is like story in a porn movie. It's expected to be there, but it's not that important. Oh, yeah. You know End Jesus quote. said that. Yeah. Uh, that's Matthew 24, 16, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'll open up your... <laughs> There's a hymnal for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> it is like <laughs> born. <laughs> What uh, a sculpted software creator, JC. JC. So I guess we're, are we supposed to know? Uh, probably, but we obviously don't. JC stands for J. David Crane. <laughs> J. David Crane. <laughs> J. David Crane presents OK Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. Creator JC. <laughs> J. 
James Cameron? Did he, uh, well, yeah. Did he make a Super Nintendo game? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he did. Dude, it doesn't have to be. It's, so it's got to be like. Is it like Lemmings or the or Sim City or that's what that's what I think. Okay, I'm trying to think. I think it it would be like Will Wright, though, right? Yeah. If it were uh, the only thing I can think of. And it's tough. JC, the only thing I can think of is John Carmack. Okay. Doom, Wolfenstein 3D. Doom. Okay. Doom. There's, so there's sort of a, but it doesn't matter. You're running on shooting demons. It doesn't really matter if there's a story. That, that, dude, that's brilliant. Doom. There was also a Wolfenstein 3D, but I feel like that has more of that's a story. That's more of than, a story than you're just, ain't a, much, the, you're just but, a space marine somewhere. I also feel like that if that was a real quote from him, then I would have heard of it by now but i'm also not the biggest doom fan in the world but it's all i have i I like that (laughs) i like that doom locking it in it is fucking doom fuck yes we did it (laughs) (laughs) you did your angry i should have known that it threw me off oh no sorry no i was just when i get real proud of myself (laughs) Ah, i got it right (laughs) Right. that's like when i know when i'm touching (laughs) melissa just right that's when she's like fuck you (laughs) Oh God! Like it's it's, yeah. it's whatever. She's like, mm, well, I know I'm doing an okay. It's okay. Job. It's, it's satisfactory. It's like when the cat. Well, if you pet a cat and it purrs, you're doing right. okay. If you pet a cat and it falls asleep, you're doing a good job. Yeah. If, if I, you pet a cat and it finger, comes, <laughs> fuck man, you done did it. <laughs> if I figure my wife and she moans, I'm doing okay. If I figure yeah. my wife, she says, "Fuck <laughs> you!" Oh my oh, god, damn it! Like she's angry at yeah. me, and I'm really doing a good job. That was that. Yeah, that was that reaction. I was just really proud of myself, so I got mad. <laughs> All right, I get yeah. it, I get it, I get it. Uh, next question. Uh, up to six people can play using any controller. The object is to determine who murdered Mr. Body. It's Cluedo. Cluedo. Right? Yeah. That's Mr. Body, yeah? Locking it in. It okay. is, in fact, Clue. Nice. We did it. Next question. That one I wasn't super proud of. <laughs> I, I mean, Clue's a Tim Curry movie. Of course I know who Mr. Body is. Come on. Hmm. Uh, next question. Sega 16 noted that it has the fun of a board game without the tedium of setting up and packing away the pieces. Monopoly? Monopoly sounds all right. I mean, Clue has already been used. That, that's a board game. What other board games had I'm trying a... trying to think one that has a lot of setup. I mean, not mousetrap. Mousetrap. <laughs> I would love to see mousetrap like done as a 16 bit game because it's like, what happens when the mousetrap doesn't work? Like, does the game just shut off? <laughs> Is it really realistic and like nothing works? Right. And then the game just turns off. <laughs> you have to rage reset it. <laughs> it's got to be Monopoly, yeah. right? Monopoly. Monopoly, locking Monopoly. it in. It is Monopoly. Monopoly. Mon- Monopoly. Monopoly. Next question. Uh, however, the tobacco quote, sorry. However, the tobacco company are concerned that if Jake survives, he will speak to the world about the hazards of tobacco and accordingly ruin their business. So they secretly place microbots inside him en masse in an attempt to stop the doctor from treating him. Rex... Ronan, Ronan mm-hmm. experimental surgeon. Absolutely has to be. Man, wouldn't it be great if it's a different game? <laughs> <Yeah>. Doom also. <laughs> it's weird to think that that has more story than Doom. <laughs> uh, Rex Ronan locking it in, and it is correct, Tyler. Rex Ronan, experimental surgeon. Last question. Mm-hmm. Fuck, Mary kill. Doom, Wolfenstein, Super Noah's Ark 3D. Uh, I've only played two of those. Uh, which ones? I haven't played Wolfenstein 3D. Okay. But I'm still going to murder Super Noah's Ark 3D. Uh, I'm going to fuck Wolfenstein and marry Doom, and then fuck and marry both um, Chex Quest. Chex Quest. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> uh, I would also kill Super Noah's Ark 3D. Uh, I... Because I have so like so many fond memories of Wolfenstein, I'm absolutely marrying Wolfenstein, uh, and I'll fuck Doom 
Fuck, Doom seems it's fun. fun. Right. Yeah. There are two more fuck Mary kills. Okay. Chips, pretzels, popcorn. Easy. Fucking easy. Are these? Are we doing these by themselves? How do you mean? Like the only the only chip that I can eat by itself is a barbecue bake lay. But do you love that one chip more than popcorn or pretzels? Yeah. Then yeah. I think that's the answer. So I marry barbecue bake lays. You get all chips. Well, that's okay. I'm, I'll be. I'll wow. be. I'll be via chipnogamous. Oh wow! So, okay, rare. And then, uh, kill pretzels. Yeah, I don't care for pretzels. I mean, I'll eat them, but I like a, a soft pretzel, a soft or a chocolate, pretzel. or a chocolate dip pretzel. Mm. Doing something different with yeah. it, but a plain yogurt, pretzel, yogurt covered yep. pretzel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, some good shit. But yeah, just a fucking like yeah, old like gold. Popcorn. Yeah, I love I love cheddar white cheddar popcorn. I love that. Uh, it's good. Flaming hot, smart. You know, white cheddar popcorn. Also good. There's a bag of that in my cabinet right now. Uh, you know, I'm gonna marry popcorn for mm-hmm. sure, one thousand percent. Um, and I'll also kill pretzels because I mean, really, outside of the pretzels we talked about, uh, they're not good. Um, and they make you thirsty. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> true. Chips, chips. I'll fuck chips. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last one, the hardest one. Mm-hmm. Fuck Mary Kill, Rogue, Storm, Jean Grey. Ross did me a favor by not including Psylocke. Um, actually, he didn't do me a favor because that would have made it a lot easier. I'm gonna marry Storm. Okay. Storm is you're not, always gonna have good weather. Storm, well, Storm, yeah, good weather. She's she make it cold all the time. I can wear my business my my, yeah, my clothes I want right. all the time. She's got a sweet mohawk, or but she did. I think she is beyond. I read. I was uh, reading a or what reading. I watched a TikTok about Storm, sort of delving into Storm. Like Storm is actually a goddess. I mean, her. They think she's a mutant. Like she's actually a fucking goddess. Like there's comic proof where after she marries Black Panther, to where I, she's, I love the what, phrase comic proof. Comic proof. <laughs> it's comic proof. It's not just like random. Yeah. It's not just something you saw somewhere yeah. or heard something. Comic proof. Some, no one made this shit up. It's there's comic canon. proof. Comic proof. <laughs> right. That um, so you're gonna fuck with the, she, she's trapped somewhere. She can't summon her powers. Black Panther has the nation pray to her, and she fucking busts out of wherever she was. Like so, like she she is effectively a goddess. So okay. yeah, I'm marrying Storm. Boom, get me in there. Okay, um, I'm gonna fuck Jean Grey because I can't fuck Rogue, or I'll die. How do you, I mean, you don't know. I don't know. I guess I get a condom out of her suit. Be your, make your dick but look still, real sexy. But still, I'm going to, yeah. But Jean Grey, she can, like, mind fuck me. Well, or she's just regular fucking oh, both. Same <laughs> time. I don't want to kill Rogue, man. I like Rogue. But you never, that, that means it's a good Mary fuck kill. Right. No, you, it's yeah. definitely a good Mary fuck kill. And I like Storm a lot. Mm-hmm. Jean Grey is honestly the one that I like the least out of all of these. So okay. I think kill Jean Grey. But she's not the Phoenix. I mean, I like the Phoenix, but yeah, Jean Grey, I don't know. Dark Phoenix is going to do some shit. <laughs> yeah, and I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Plus, man, fucking Cyclops and Wolverine, they're all over Jean Grey already. It's like, I can't compete there. Gambit, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I sent Melissa, it was the meme of Cyclops and Jean Grey kissing to you know zoom out to Wolverine making that face looking at the camera. Right. I sent Melissa, and it made, it made I meant it to be funny, and it made her a little sad, because I remember, um, of course, I've been in love with Melissa forever, so I remember it was like New Year's Eve 1998, or, or it was, was it 99? It was probably, probably 98, and... 98 was, to 99, or... 90, yeah, 98 into 99. Okay, all right. And Thank God over. you've no Y two K. You know you're safe. Right, not yeah. worried about it. And we're over at her house in her basement for New Year's Eve, and I'm single. Her good time Gatsby, uh, other Gatsby, and another like another friend that was also single. But the 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 Gatsby trio all have boyfriends. So midnight hits, and they're all making out. And then me and Hold the other on. and the other single girl back that up uh-huh. th- with their significant others, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> not with each other with their with their boyfriends. Right. I just feel like you know something was left out of that. I yeah, just want to yeah, clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so it's just 
me and the other girl just kind of awkwardly sitting on the couch, right. seeing all three of them make out. Me wanting Melissa, oh, there she is making out with her boyfriend. And like I remember I looked to the, the girl, and she looked at me and just like, you all right? You okay? Yeah. All right. Neither of us have any interest in kissing each other, so yeah, no, we'll just we'll just wait this out. <laughs> so I sent her. The, you want to trade Pokemon? Or <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I sent Melissa the the Cyclops, and so it was a uh, New Year's Eve '98. Melissa, Ben, her boyfriend, and then to me as Wolverine, just fucking <laughs> Ben, <laughs> fucking Ben, fucking Ben, fucking Ben. Come on, yeah, fucking Ben. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it and fuck Rogue. I mean, okay, all right. And then maybe since Storm is a goddess, uh, I'll marry her. Maybe she can bring me back. I mean, it might be life. the it might be the best orgasm in the world though. If you're coming, you touch your skin a little bit and feel it all drain out of you. That might be it worth might, it. It might be awesome. It might be worth it. I she, mean, look, our text was put... just sad, and he died. He didn't even get to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> yep. As far as we know, he died a virgin. Maybe there's some sweet horse pussy under there. We don't know. Maybe that's why he was like, no, 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 no. this is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you guys think it's sad, yeah. but it's actually the best yeah. horse pussy you've ever but had. But only if you're a horse, right? Only if you're a horse. You yeah, can... no, it's sadness for humans. Right. But for horses, That's what people don't know about horse pussy. It is, <laughs> it is the why saddest is this, place Why does this swamp human. smell so bad? Horse pussy. Horse, it's horse pussy. <laughs> it's actually it's insulting to us horse kind <laughs> that you call it a swamp. Also, you can't see what's underneath this muck. If you did, you would be horrified. Yeah. You've been walking on horse pussies the it's entire a, time. It's, it's a Cthulian mass of horse vaginas winking at you underneath the sand. <laughs> Be glad it's here. Uh, I don't know, man. I like Rogue the best out of these three, but I don't think I could have a sexless marriage. Like, yeah. I think like with Rogue, it's just go ahead and do it and die. Yep. Um, she might be able to push you off in time. Now, how, long, oh, how, long, how long does it take? It depends on whose power she absorbed. <laughs> oh, I mean, bi- I mean, Bishop was able to uh, like. I mean, he fucked her for, for like second. thirty seconds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've got that comic on my wall over there. The one where he fucks Rogue. The one where he fucks Rogue. <laughs> she fucks him. Yeah, the one where I remember it being weird when I was reading it, like some convoluted <laughs> way. There's not a single horse pussy in this. <laughs> what is this shit? I don't buy the X Men for a lack of horse pussy. <laughs> I just it being some for the first time in comics, I remember reading something being like, "This sounds stupid and weird." How like they <laughs> how they reason out how Bishop like can use his powers to like touch Rogue for like a second. Yeah. So, yeah, how did they rationalize that? It was something about how his powers could negate hers on a very temporary basis because he had to grab her and pull her out of something. Gotcha. Yeah. Was it to set something up later? Like, Probably. Is that, yeah. Probably. Because I don't see the point otherwise. Because then they just wouldn't write Rogue into that situation where she needed to be saved, you know? Yeah. Unless it was bad writing. They were trying to know. do something for, I mean, maybe set Bishop up, yeah, to have a breakthrough yeah. or something. Man, I liked Bishop a lot. I thought Bishop was really cool. I don't really even know what his power really is besides negating Rogue's power for a little <laughs> Right. <while. laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, let's be honest, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Uh, cause you know, like Rogue is just like fucking bent up sex, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's some, that's some good I mean, horse she, pussy right she, there. She was back, you know, was jungle horse pussy for a while. Right. Man. And that was like one of my favorite things about Age of Apocalypse was just like <laughs> fucking Magneto and Rogue are fucking, <laughs> holy shit. I'm in for this. I'm going to read all of these. And I did. <laughs> Uh, man, but she yeah. fucked Sauron, she fucked Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, for real, like, come on, that's like in the X Men universe, that's like the best sex possible is Rogue. Mm-hmm. I can see it, I can see it. Or Vampire Storm, whenever Dracula turns into a vampire. That's, I don't know, that's not real. I don't know, I don't know, which <laughs> that's not real. Um, yeah, I so I don't know, yeah, fuck Rogue, I guess, and then it doesn't matter. I don't have to answer other questions because I'm dead. You're dead. So that's what you do first. So there we go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Thanks, Ross. That was a good quiz. Yeah, that's good. Uh, would you like to do a Super Nintendo episode next time? Sure. I mean, this was fun. We can keep doing I, this. I agree. I would like to do it again and finish the calls, but we should probably break it up with a regular episode. Okay. Uh, if anybody wants to call us, because I want to do calls as like a regular Bring thing on a, a real bit, yeah. show, like right? Try to always fit in at least one. Yeah. 
So if you want to give us a call, you can do so at 270-883-2555. So remember, we used to do three a show back in the day when we first did them when no one called. Yep. I would always try. I would always like text Josh, Nicole, Jacob, Blake, whoever I could like, hey, call. We need need, like no one called. So can you you call and ask a question? That's very weird to me. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. That's a long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. In the OG first studio. Yeah. In the long ago. Yeah, the, the before times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really was. I said that as a joke, but that's like the real fucking truth right there. That was some different days back then. Totally different. 100% like, different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My life was absolutely 100% different back it, Yes, then. it was. Yep. Mine was different, too. Not as drastically different, but but different. Mm-hmm. I mean, kids make the biggest kids difference. Kids change a lot yeah. of things, yeah. Well, uh, you mean grab the spatter up peripheral? Yeah, man. Plug it in? Yeah, man. Wild and Crazy Kids Yeah, style. let's do it. Put my, put my head on it. Man, I bet the randomizer's going to be like super pleased that we've like not been doing this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's, it's going no, to be great. I'm so sure hard. It's going to be great. It's going to be like, yo, do Super Mario World again. It's fine. If it comes to Super Mario World, we do it let's again. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Deal. So say the prayer. We all love to say. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Uh, I totally have it pulled up. Uh, five fourteen. Super Mario World. It does start with an S. Ooh. Super Alfred Chicken. First word is space. This is gonna be a fun game. First word is space. It's just space. It is. You're tricking me. It's, it's just it's space. Just space. Super it's no game. actually space horse pussy. Space. <laughs> <laughs> it was a European space only release. Space jungle horse pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it is space. Football, but it's space football. It is space. Space football. Space. Colon. <laughs> one on one. What the fuck? I'm more. Con- I'm more confused about the one on one of football than I am space football. Oh, so you play, it's one on one football in space. What is one on one football? <laughs> you just run to try to knock it to the down. If you get past one guy, you did it. <laughs> you just hope he can't get you. There's no passing plays unless it's space, so you can throw it up in the air. Oh, and it goes slow enough for you to run, run to on the other side. <laughs> uh, look, I haven't played this game yet, but I can tell you one thing: it's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> you sure, you don't want to do another all calls. It's, hey, your, it's up to you. It's up to you. <laughs> let's let's. We'll have to get to space football eventually, though. That is true. But let's just say that we can take more than three calls next episode if we want to. Love it. There we go. Love it. We can take as many calls the, as we want. The space football, <laughs> space football colon, sort of all calls. Remember, snatch drunk, five minute videos. <laughs> as long as we get five minutes worth of space football one on one talk, yep. we're covered. Yep. And we'll even preface it. Hey, are you here for game talk? Sorry. Sorry. You, You're, got, you got the wrong how, show. how long is this? Two hours, you get five minutes. Otherwise, it's this bullshit. Yeah, and we're not going to tell you where it is because nope. we don't know. <laughs> it's going to be woven into the fabric yeah, of yeah, our yeah. lives. We're about to do 30 seconds here. Take four calls. Do 30 seconds more. Talk about sleep. horse pussy for four minutes. You know, regular stuff. Regular, regular stuff. <laughs> like you do with your friends. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, SoundCloud, not SoundCloud, Stitcher, YouTube, uh, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. So pretty much anywhere. Internet, Facebook. Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, bit.ly slash Tadpog Discord. Just search for Tadpog and yeah. stuff will find Google you'll it. Find you'll it. find stuff. Yeah, it'll be cool. We got a Patreon. We do. We do. Let me pull, pull it up. Patreon. Patreon. Uh, if you, Hey, did you enjoy this uh, long conversation about horse pussy uh, and also boxing anime? Uh, if you did, you can give us money for that. Let's make that game where you punch horse pussy. <laughs> oh, horse pussy puncher? Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a ROM hack for Super Punch Out. <laughs> it's a real gross one, but it, it exists. Um, if you enjoyed this, then you can show it with money. Come be weird with us with your money. Come be weird with us with your money. It's fine. We like money. You like weird talk. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Prove it. Patreon.com slash Tadpog. Uh, I don't think we have anything new. That checks out. 
no one loves us. It's nope, fine. It's over. <laughs> done. It's all downhill from here. You do one all calls episode, and it all goes hey, to hey, shit. We do. <laughs> you do two all calls episodes. <laughs> Uh, this episode was executive produced by the following people. These are the folks who donate at $20 or more a month. We got God Emperor Alex Pena, Cousin David Galino, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Laud Mulaney Dennis, Zeus Laser, Steve Dixon, Plinko Nick Price, Clam Bro Cody Phillips, Lent Liquor Joseph Phillips, Bantha Master, Executive Producer Dig Dougie, The Eightfold Daniel Abernathy, Time Lord Josh Edwards, Game Bug Prime Nate, Nathan Eaton, Matt Gentile, aka Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage, Magical Sleeper, aka Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn, Temporary Eternal Savior Cubicle Monkey, Pinball Archmage Chris Edler, I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode. Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, first time caller, Drinksmith Joey Webster, Big Daddy Paul Anderson, Edgelord Kyle Pertleball, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, and John of 1000 Names. Remember earlier when I said people didn't yeah. love us? I lied. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. obviously people. No one else loves us, so people do love us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roll Off theme song is Moves by Sticky More Drive. Linked to that track, found the show notes at tadpog.com. Hey, you as beloved Adam, the unofficial guest host of this episode. All right. The last two episodes. We were right, yeah. yeah. So until next time. Woo! Boys, Tropical Capricorn! That was so good that I didn't My even... dick so hard, my little bitty micro penis dick over oh, Tyler and Dave. Is that a gun? Tyler, 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 Tyler. I'm Adam Long! <laughs>All right, so like on the Discord earlier today, someone posted, um, I'm going to pull it up. Someone posted a photograph. And um, this is something that I probably should have pulled up (laughs) so that I could actually, uh, you know, be ready and talk about it. But it was essentially one of those, like, if you had to get rid of one of these, which would it be? Mm. Uh, So this is what we have. One has to go, you pick. Okay. Kit Kat, Snickers. M&M's, Reese's, Twix, Milky Way. If it were not for Jack and Kenna's intense love of M&M's, M&M's, easy for me. What if they still get it? It's What if it's just for you? Oh, me, M&M's. Easy. No, Does yeah, it matter? Easy. Super easy. Gone. Any M&M. Any, well, hmm. Peanut? Peanut butter? I guess Milky, Milk, well, Milky Way was a choice. Milky Way was definitely a yeah, choice. Milky Way. So wait, which M&M turned it around for you? I like uh, the pretzel ones and the like the the new ones, the coffee uh, pretzel. Dude, those pretzel ones are fucking yeah, good. The caramel ones are good. I haven't had those. Plain but plain chocolate M Ms. I don't give a shit. Fuck those. But like otherwise, Milky Way. I I do not like Milky Way. Milky Way mint was the only thing I sort of liked. But beyond that, no, Milky Way. Ugh. Mint. It's, it's so one note. I don't like it. Mint makes pretty much everything better. Yeah. I love mint in a sweet context. I love fucking love mint in a savory context. Yeah. Not enough uh, cuisines use it, but man, fucking love like a, a mint chutney. Fuck yes, with some non Mint chutney. That was yeah. my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the country club, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's mint chutney. Mint chutney. <laughs> Back from your polo game. <laughs> uh, I get rid of Milky Way. Because I don't have any, like, honestly, like, I don't have anything against the Milky Way, but I will say that out of those six candies, Milky Way has probably the worst marketing. Yeah. And it's so, like, even at least... What's in it? I can't even tell you. It, I've had it before. I don't know what's in it. It's just, yeah, it's sort of it's just like a plain shitty Snickers, chocolatey. Right? Yeah, with nothing in it. It's just sort of, like, that's why I don't like it, because it's just so plain. It's very, like, it's as plain as M&M's are, but at least M&M's are crunchy. This is just... Yeah. This is just... Soft bar. I love a peanut M and M. Peanut M and M is where it's it at for me. Good. I do yeah. like a peanut M and M. I have a very. I, ever since I was a child, it, peanut M and M has been great because it's like a game to eat because it's like get all the chocolate off without breaking the peanut in half. Okay, but you got to use your teeth. You can't. You can't suck it off because you know. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's a skill you'll develop later. Right. Yeah. Right you don't now. need that now. <laughs> Just teeth. <laughs> yeah. You got to control your. I mean, this is all M and M's are really training for blowjobs because like, don't use your teeth. I that's mean, what you got to do. Or face jobs. Or face, yeah. I mean, M and M's, a you know, learn to suck it off and not use your teeth. M and M's, right? Peanut M and M's, we're new, here for new you. New marketing. 
Uh, you want to lick the bowl? Lick the bowl. Lick, lick the bowl, bowl. Lick, lick a, a bowl. Lick a man. man's hairy balls. Fucking <laughs> 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 like David Tell, yeah. Uh, yeah, skates from the memory. Yeah. Uh, Twix is the candy bar with the cookie crunch. Yep. I like that. Also, even just that little, I mean, Twix, Twix is the minimum I want in a candy bar I can enjoy. It's the minimum. That's the minimum. What do you get in a Twix? Chocolate, cookie, and You've got caramel? The caramel, the chocolate, and the crunch. That's it. Like I need I need at least three different experiences in a candy bar. The crunch is kind of important. That's why Milky Way but, I don't do Milky well, Way. Well then what about a Reese's? You just have chocolate and peanut butter. But the peanut butter is the peanut butter and the chocolate is its own thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like that. And then the it, the cup is different than the bar. The cup makes it different. Dude, those fucking ridges, man. Yep. I'm serious. Nikki and I have had so many conversations where it's like, you know, I like the Easter egg shaped Reese's, but mm-hmm. it's like, they're, they're different. They, I mean, it's trees, it, they're different. pumpkins, they're all they're different. different. <laughs> yep, no, I'm, I, agree. I agree. It's wild that they're different, yep. but it's like those fucking like cupcake wrapper edges that fucking Reese's have. Like, yeah, it it makes them. But I think the best, the best Reese's, the best bar none, I think, is the big cup. I like the I've chocolate. I've never had the big I, cup. Yeah, I like the, the chocolate to peanut butter ratio and the size of it for How the bite. How big is it? It's it's as, as two Reese's stepped on top of each other. Oh, so it's just a taller. Yeah, it's like you should buy those singularly. The the So a king size Reese's is four. Four. Reg, so a regular pack of Reese's cups, uh-huh. two, two, two cups, right. four for a king size. Okay. For a big cup, but they're, they're, all sold, the same. they're sold singular. There's one, one is a regular, a king size is two. Oh, a king size big cup, big cup is yeah. two. So does the diameter increase, or is it just the height of the cup that increases? The height of the cup increases. So they're kind of like, what are the... Like the minis or whatever that you get at Halloween. Are they kind of like that, but blown up? See, I don't care for those because I think that ratio is too much chocolate. The ratio is the worst. There's there's too much chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Reese's, the small Reese's cups, worst ratio. Regular, okay. Best ratio, in my opinion, big cup. Casey and I have also this discussion because we could get king size big cups at work just laying around everywhere. Yeah. We ate a lot of them. (laughs) What if, okay, so if I get rid of Snickers, can I keep ice cream Snickers? Because that's way better than Snickers. Yeah, so is ice cream Twix, and yeah. yeah what yeah. ice cream Twix? I feel like I've seen ice cream. Is this Twix. real? I really feel like I, I said that, but I really, I really feel like I've seen that. Yes. Don't quote me on it. I could just be imagining. It'll be a fever dream. I hope you're right. I want to try that. Um, I see, I see ice cream right. Milky Way that actually might exist. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be better because it'd at least be a different. I mean, ice. Cr- I guess it'd probably be kind of just having. A chocolate-dipped ice cream cone, because it's just chocolate ice cream with chocolate. You know what's not on this list, and I know why? Heath. Heath Bar. Because that's the one everybody would go to. Right. Yeah. Although I like a Heath Bar more than I like uh, uh, Milky Way. No shit. Heath Bar, I mean, I like to- flavored toffee. So you got chocolate toffee and crunch. So it meets the it meets the Twix qualification. Maybe this is why I don't like a Heath Bar, because I've only had it in Blizzard format. Oh, then it's really, yeah, you gotta have, see, here's the thing, I think a score bar is better than a Heath bar. Score bar. Mm -hmm. A score bar. It's like a thinner Heath bar. Man, I don't know that I've had a score bar either, because maybe when I was in the store, I thought it was like chewing tobacco. Probably. Yeah. It it does, I mean, it's a small, simple brown packet, like, yeah, you see that. Uh, what about a zero bar? Love a zero yeah, bar. Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. love zero. Fuck yeah, buddy. Melissa, until I started buying those, eating them, she's like, I've never seen anybody eat those. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. And I hate it that Rhett and Link voted it the worst candy bar. They had their whole NCAA of candy bars. Master Cycle like, Baron? Zero, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they voted it the worst, and then I was like, man, they don't know what they're talking about. I love zero bar, because it's so different. Is it because it's not real chocolate? Like, I mean, people can't get over that. White chocolate is totally, but, it's totally different. But, I mean, if you don't like white chocolate, okay. But white chocolate but is different enough that I like how different it is. Milk chocolate isn't real chocolate either. So what are we even talking yeah. about? Baking chocolate is real chocolate. Otherwise, fuck, fuck you. Off. You like, yeah. <laughs> right. Just like, what is it? Malcolm Gladwell talks about, like, you know, if I, if I were to say to you guys, what do you like coffee? You would say, I like strong, I like a strong cup of coffee. In reality, no, you don't. Most, I mean, I do. Eighty percent of Americans <laughs> like milky, weak coffee. No, fuck that shit. Yeah, no. but I do. I drink black, tastes yeah. like pencil shaving yeah. coffee. 
Uh, well, mine don't taste like pencil shavings. Mine are mine's delicious blackbird coffee. So uh, see, I'll just go. I'll just get a triple espresso on ice and, dr- and drink that. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, I can't do the ice. But I will say this: Ma- Malcolm Gladwell also said that if you eat zero bars for ten thousand hours, you'll be a master a of master. that shit. You be- yeah, you become zero. You become diabetes <laughs> itself. <laughs> You become zero, the diabe- <laughs> the god of diabetes. <laughs> zero. Are you looking up ice uh, cream ice, twix? Ice cream twix. Yes, it exists. Oh shit! It does. It exists. I thought I'd seen it. Oh fuck! Yeah, All right, is. there it is. So, will you be able to give us a review on the Friends reunion next episode, do you think? Oh, I'm not having time to watch it tonight. No, we went, we went long. But next, oh, you were going to watch it tonight? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't so know that. Okay. We could have ended this oh, shit. Oh, poor like... me. I'll just get to have sex and go to bed. Okay, great. All right. All right. Well, we need to end now so that you can, that you can make her angry <laughs> with your hopefully, touch. Hopefully. Yeah. I hope she's real pissed yeah. off at me. Yeah. All right. She'll probably be real pissed off. I shared that. Actually, <laughs> I'm not gonna edit it. I clearly I'm not asking you six to. days nope. is not long enough time for me to edit no. that out. No, I know it's not. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it's a really good flex if I don't <laughs> for you. You know what I mean? You yeah. get to like yeah. really show everybody that you really know your way around. Just my wife. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well. Right. Yeah. I've never pissed anybody else off. <laughs> <laughs>